One is the defending champion. The other making her first finals appearance. Both are part of a new generation of curlers, and both have one goal in mind. Just trying to keep pushing, and we're not stopping. We're looking to win it all. Rachel Holman, Emma Miskew, Alison Crevias, Lisa Weigel, Team Canada. Val Sweden, Dana Ferguson, Joanne Courtney, Rochelle Paderni, Team Alberta. Tonight, one will write their name in the record book. The Scottish. The final is next. our final evening here in Montreal as our week-long coverage of the Scotties comes to an end. The Canadian Women's Curling Championship will be decided tonight here at the Maurice Richard Arena as the crowd comes to its feet and led by the Piper, the two teams that will battle for this year's championship make their way onto the ice and I can't imagine how it must feel for Val Sweeting and her Alberta team. Never been here before. What the butterflies just might be like for her. And even for the defending champions who have, yes, experienced this before. Just a few miles from home in Ottawa. The defending champions were perfect all week. A win over Manitoba in the one-two page playoff put them through to the final. And Alberta has done it the hard way, coming through that 3-4 page playoff all the way through the semi. And then earlier today, Manitoba, Chelsea Carey from Winnipeg winning a bronze medal with a win over Saskatchewan. As on this Sunday night, we say hello Canada and welcome back our final evening. Glad that you are with us, Linda Russ alongside. Boy, we first took note of Val Sweeting and her team from Edmonton back at the Three trials in Kitchener back in November when she looked so good there and made her way to the Olympic trials in Winnipeg. Got off to a wonderful start. Beat the likes of Rachel Holm and Jennifer Jones. This is a young lady who it appears pressure while well, there is no pressure for her. Uh, I agree, Vic. I think Val Sweeting's one of those rare athletes that uh, is very comfortable with the uncomfortable. And no better example of that than last night's semifinal game against Manitoba. This has to be made or you jump in the car and you go home. From the time she let this go, they just walked it down, on, off, on, off. Line was perfect, weight was perfect. Dropped it right on the button. Val's really good under pressure, but it's not just Val, it's a four-man team that has to win this. Can she keep the rest of the team calm? It's such a big stage, Beck. It's the Canadian Championship. A chance to beat a legend in Rachel Holman, who's undefeated. A chance to wear that Maple Leaf. A lot of pressure in this young team. They have to keep it open to give Val a chance. Well, you take a look as they make the introductions. Joanne Courtney at the second position will throw the third stones with Rush. That has been the one player who has shown the occasional crack of confidence. However, when you talk about this Team Canada, and in particular Rachel Holman and three members of this team, Linda, who have been together for 12 years, they've been under the spotlight of juniors, world juniors, here at the Scotties before. They just so great maturity. It's unbelievable. At the age of 24, it's been there, done that for Rachel Holman. They have to have so much confidence looking back at last year's final, beating Jennifer Jones and playing a great game. Add to that, that 90% shooting percentage we just saw. An unbelievable game plan, executed so well, Rachel never had to throw her last draw. They beat everybody in this field. When it comes to performance on demand, that young lady knows how to do it. We are expecting a wonderful final. It's the championship of the Scotties. Team Canada looking for a second straight against Alberta. Final stone facing two with her last. All on its own. Is it close? Is it close? Yes, it's better than close. Picks up the three. Rachel Holman here in the second. Team Canada is through to the final on Sunday. Semi-final coming down to the final stone. Alberta's Val Sweeting. We're good, they say. 
We're good to say. And they are right. And Alberta are moving on to the final of the Scotties. The 2014 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. The 2014 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG by Tim Hortons, always fresh, always great tasting coffee. And by Capital One, what's in your wallet? One of these two teams will represent Canada at the Ford Women's World Championships to be played in St. John, New Brunswick, March the 15th. Time to meet the teams now is brought to you by Ford, proud partners with the CCA for 20 years. Hi, I'm Val Sweeting, skip of Team Alberta. Our lead is Rochelle Paderni. Our second is Dana Ferguson. Our third is Joanne Courtney, and we play out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. Hi, I'm Rachel Holman, skip of Team Canada. Our lead's Lisa Weagle, second, Alison Krebizak, and third, Emma Miskew. And we curl out of the Ottawa Curling Club in Ottawa. And they were expecting many fans from the Ottawa Curling Club and other clubs in Ottawa to make the drive around 45 minutes to an hour from Ottawa to Montreal for this final. Team Canada with that impressive perfect record of 11 straight wins they get the choice of stones they also get the last rock so they're playing yellow and to get us underway Val Sweeting is out has the brush down for her lead Rochelle Paderni to get us underway in this gold medal game of the Scotties in Montreal there's a lot of things about this Alberta team you like, even when there's been a few mistakes. First of all, we saw a glimpse of Renee Sonnenberg in the background. She's been that calm fifth player, coach, mentor, all those things wrapped together. And she's helped them a lot. And the other part about this team I really liked is even when mistakes were made, they bounced back. Jo Joanne Courtney had a tough game. First half was poor, bounce back. Joanne Courtney <laughs> missed a big shot in the extra end that you showed, but the team bounced back, and I like that about them. Yeah, they're fourth in the stats against the team that's overwhelmingly number one in the stats, but that really makes no difference today. It's whoever can bring it today, and uh, Val Sweeting sure showed me something last night with that wonderful draw to the team. So up and down the sheet early. Let's take a look at what you think the game plan may be. Well, I didn't expect anything different here. It is wide open when you play Rachel Holman, but eventually I think she should attack, especially with the hammer, to apply pressure to the team that might be nervous. For Val Sweeting, wait for your chances. Keep it close. You cannot let Rachel Holman's team hit away against you. The game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. We really can't be critical of a team that's 12 and 0 and blanks every first in. We may say that you should take chances and get your score, but Rachel hasn't had to, even with burning off the first in with a blank. They have not been pushed by this field in this event. The only loss last year was to uh, Jennifer Jones, and they beat Jennifer twice in the playoffs, so that's that's pretty impressive in two years. It's incredibly impressive. Did you say normal? No, control. Once you, once you, sorry, Linda, once you know you've hit it, uh, you move it around, get it in a different spot. Mm -hmm, very nice. And it's not like Rachel's team is not going to understand the butterflies this team, uh, Dana and Joanne and Rochelle especially, will feel. It's just that the coping skills are a little better when you've been there. The Ten. numbers are good for this team. Dana, again, yep. great in the playoffs, but it's just yep. hard oh, when you're out there to oh. cope with the pressure. One sheet, all these people watching, and as you said, Nine, the Maple Leaf is on the line, and they put those Come prizes on. just to the right of this sheet where you can see it out of the corner of your eye. Normal. 
but she has looked very cool and i think that draw is the best example and as you showed that draw to wonderful normal. brushing by yeah. both of these teams yeah. so both skips oh, when they get please. in that hack have to We're feel quiet. confident about draw yeah. weight yeah, they have been, Alberta. Very yeah, good yeah. handling the pressure. At times, though, you just see a couple of nervous moments, as uh, we say, good evening, Brian Mudrin. You know, Vic, Val Sweeting is one cool customer, and Val the person has a very dry, sarcastic sense of humor and a lot of fun to be around. I asked her just before this game, what is the shot you've dreamed of to win the Scotties? And she said, that's easy, the shot I don't have to throw. And then I asked her about that final stone that she made right after the game to get her into the final. I said, you must have been nervous. She says, no, I make big shots to win big games. I approached that conversation again just before this game, and she said, what? I said that? I must have blacked out. <laughs> anyway, she's got such a great sense of humor. But that being said, yeah, her same. front end has no idea whether she's nervous, worked up, upset. She's always so calm. But this team does work with a sports psychologist, and the one thought she always comes back to is, I make big shots to win big Normal. games. So far, so good. But Joanne Courtney, guys, has one complaint about her skipper. She'd like her to work on the celebration a little bit more. There was that awkward sort of fist pump with the broom move, and she kind of laughed. And I said, well, if things go well for Alberta, you'll have a chance to work on that celebrating tonight. Well, I know one thing they'd like to do, Linda, is get uh, Rachel Holman to throw her final stone <laughs> so that it, it means something. Rachel Holman has yet to throw the final rock in any game so far this week. Now, one of the things that Joanne Courtney, Russ, said, she yeah. said that yeah. the trials, yeah. as well as they started, they didn't finish well for this team. But those trials in Winnipeg did help them, in a way, grow somewhat in dealing with pressure. Oh, it'd have to. It'd have to. It was a, an event that the top teams in the country, arguably in the world, seven of the teams they had to play, every one of them, uh, were so prepared for that four-year run. And... Uh, just to come out three and four like they did was still a good record. And you learn every time you play these top teams and you pick something up, what you should have done strat strategically, what you should have missed a shot a different way. And uh, you get better all the time. You're playing the top surfaces against the best team. It's the best formula to become a great team. All the way, guys. So Val yeah, Sweeting think. comes out of Alberta, having beaten Cheryl, Cheryl Bernard, the silver medalist from Vancouver, in their final. It has really a good week. We always say about never getting to that third or fourth loss too early. She really balanced her win-loss record. And then coming out of the 3-4 game, beating Saskatchewan, then the semifinal over Manitoba, has progressively, Linda, I think, gotten better. They have. Now, the game against Saskatchewan is the one where they did struggle a little bit, and it was Joanne Courtney in particular that at the fifth time break, she was at 65%, but the credit you give her is she ended up at 80%. That's not easy. You're out on that ice, same sort of pressure. If you don't win, you're not in the final. And Joanne and the rest of the team at the fifth time break, I don't know if they had some uh, really good water or what happened, but they turned it completely around. No, it's so true. There's a lot of pressure coming down the stretch. Eighth, ninth, tenth, end. You're sitting in the hack going, oh, yeah, you know, I might let my team down here if I don't make a good one. But if you've already played exceptionally well the whole game, you're in the hack with a more comfortable feeling, saying, look, yeah, yeah. I've had a good game. Joanne started so slow, there had to be that extra pressure. She just dropped it, turned it around, and had a great second half. And no matter how many times you've been there, these first throws, the first chance to brush, all those help get rid of the nerves, get you to the place. You want to be a little activated. That's how you play your best, but you don't want to be tense in that hack. So I'm sure by now they're all feeling a little bit better, and here comes Val's first chance for a good throw. Remembering now that this is her second Scotties. You mean we know. She went four and seven oh, in Sault oh, yeah, Ste. Marie. Like in 2010, up, for the rest of the off. team, it's the their trout. first appearance. So Rachel Holman about to throw her first, and well, there's nothing to say, is there? It's just perfect. And then in the one-two page payoff, came through with a win over Manitoba. And that was on Friday night. 
So they haven't played since then. They have practiced a couple of times, a couple of 30-minute sessions to get ready for this, the championship game. 10 inches less ice in Val just took. In out motion, a little extra weight. You talk about the pressure too, Linda. The uh, team Holman's known for, hmm? I don't know, since Monday that they were going to be in this game. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, they've been sitting around waiting and waiting and waiting. And the longer this game stays close, they, they have to believe they're the favorite. Uh, they have to think they can win this game. They've done it before. And, uh, you know, if all of a sudden it's tied playing eight or tied mm -hmm. playing nine, I think the momentum and the, uh, or the, sorry, the pressure would shift to the Holman rink. No, I agree. And let's face it, that page 1-2 game, although Rachel did not have to throw her last stone, was a little bit difficult in the middle. There were two steals, fifth and sixth end by Manitoba, and that pushed Team Canada to be that much better in the latter part of the game. But I guess the point is, they did handle that game very well. Well, we'll talk a lot about these two in particular, Rochelle Paderni and... And Joanne yeah, Courtney, yeah. in the it's way that they brush, they are a big part of this team and what they've been able to accomplish. Yeah, they are brilliant. And it's interesting to watch yeah, their eyes. Sure. Did you see them there? Rochelle just drinking it all in, just looking around the crowd here at the Maurice Richard. You want to play it open? And you definitely want to make this play. Yeah. Clean. Final stone. Yeah. And a blank will go on the board here in this opening end. Team Canada will Round hold that hammer seven. to number two. So soft on it. The annual Ford Hot Shots here at the Scotties. 48 curlers starting, a chance to drive away in a brand new 2014 Ford Fusion. Just two in the final. Allison Kreviazic on the left. Second for Team Canada. Heather Strong, skip for Newfoundland. And Strong was just that. Comes up big, maximum five points, final shot. Heather Strong wins the Ford Hot Shots. A two-year lease on a 2014 Ford Fusion two-liter all-wheel drive with EcoBoost. The Maurice Richard Arena, built back in 1962 and named in honor of the uh, Montreal Canadian great. Maurice Richard, our home all week, and then we'll leave it after this evening. It's been a terrific week here in Montreal. This is the gold medal game, the championship game of the Scotties. Team Canada with the blank in one takes that last rock to the second now it'll once again be Rachel Holman that has the hammer playing the yellow stones first stone from Alberta comes center line top of the eight the corner has gone up and now this is the second stone lead rock for Rochelle Paderni Nice shot at uh, a little under curl. Okay. It uh, exposes the, the wrong side if you're Alberta. You threw this in practice. They can uh, play this back ring weight to uh, perfection. This team could hit either red and roll behind the corner, possibly. Lisa Weagle. Coming whoa, through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not wow. I don't know if that started to curl very late, but they just they just breezed that guard. Yeah, that was nonchalant. It looked like it was by the guard easy, and then from hog line in, it made that left hand turn and just snuck by. Just snuck by, and then they'd not get the roll. So if they'd been on it earlier, they would have been able to roll to the right as we're looking at it. Mm -hmm. Dana Ferguson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. and, and right on the nose. You know, there's something, Linda, that 
to my mind anyway, yeah. the the um, the nerves, the excitement of playing, uh, Board. Hey. yelling Ball no, throw. and yet they were still brushing. I mean, they're just so enthusiastic that they yeah. want to brush, and I'm just wondering if, in fact, that is something that they'll have to control as well. Yeah, you may be right that they are a, a little intense and aren't hearing very clearly that that's a, a woe. Yep. Natural Board. this early in the game. We did say that this this building is is curious in the fact that it just seems to Close. eat sound. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, that it's at no, times no, no. been very quiet. Yeah. And that the curlers had had a difficulty communicating with each other up and down the sheet. Bells the hair up. 98, yeah. Okay. You got the same. Really right important to keep that signaling going back and forth. The question was, was I a hair up? It's so easy with the adrenaline flowing. All of a sudden, you'll hear curlers almost every time in a final say, it's a little faster today. And it's just, you're just flying out of the hack. And, you have to be so careful to throw the appropriate weight. Got to roll one way, they sure do. And then it pops out in the on the wide side, so unable to hold the line. This is fascinating when it comes to reading the ice and reading deliveries, because with Rachel Holman, we know that they throw a fairly straight rock. They do manage the release. They don't always throw the in-out set, as we call it, which runs so straight. But then when you have Val Sweeting, you have people that throw a little more curl, and Val and Dana are left-handers, so the rock is coming at you a little differently. So this two skips will really have to watch the curl and manage their own team well. Clean. Control. Allison Kirby has it. Yep, yep, hard. Whoa. Yep, yep, Trying to yep, roll yep, the yep, other yep, way yep, now. Yep, Take yep, it under yep, behind yep, their own. Look at this roll. I tell you something, she had such a good game. Linda, I thought, in that one-two page playoff, just very consistent, steadfast kind of player. Yeah, I'd take 91% anytime, Vic. Yeah, <laughs> she was terrific. And we don't say much about this team for brushing, but every detail with Team Canada has been taken care of. Communication, the brushing, everything yeah, is whoa. usually bang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Joanne Courtney. Roll, Dana. Yeah, Dana. It's fine. Okay. Hard to come around. Okay. Just want to guard it back up. Sorry? Do you want to guard it back up? Sure. We could do this. Then they hit and roll Top eight? Yeah. Sure. Half okay. open? Yeah. If they if make they the roll, hit. we just run it. Okay. Whatever you like. Top 12 is fine too. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm here your weight. Team Canada so, would love to split the house keep as much separation as they can from that shot rock, but yeah. they really can't. It's tough to, difficult to go through that hole with the out turn. You could, but it's taking on a chance. And it's the corner guards are a little wide that you'd have to go around the wide side. That'd be a bit of a guess on the speed yeah. also. Really but they good. are going to come through this yeah. hole, aren't they? Well, coming in the other direction, the hole's a little bit bigger. And they know this path from practice, but to play the other turn back from center line out, that would be a real guess. It looks like tons. I do want to keep it a little open in case the roll is made off the other stone. Wide open. Yeah, finish, finish, finish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I see had no extension on that. There's a lot of support here for both teams, uh, but certainly for this Team Canada from Ottawa. To paraphrase, behind every good team, there is usually a good coach until something goes wrong, and then they point some fingers. But Earl Morris certainly <laughs> has done a lot with this team. Uh, he knows these... Uh, players uh, since they were just youngsters going back to uh, 2007 and he's been with them and worked with them and uh, quite proud of them what a wonderful thought out shot that last one was it because it's still open even if team alberta rolls to the button there will be that easy slash Ferguson yep, got the line, got the roll, and underneath and sit, and will spin just a little too far. 10 7. Okay. Can we get here? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of tough, eh? First shot. I swear to. 
This one I really did curl. Lost it at the what? end means it rolls too like, far and does give it? Rachel a little more room He's to work. If you're wide, you've got no backing. A bit wide. If you're a little heavy, we can see for backing. Okay. Okay. So Even if you take the guard, like, we're going to be guarding ourselves. Uh, Obviously, it's not ideal, but. Not the greatest, though. Um, Short run. I think it'll be a little fresh, eh? A little fresh, but starting off when we push through from some rocks, it wasn't that. You just slow. want to throw back line, or? Uh, no, I'll, I'll kind of. Draw. It's way okay. fresh, eh? <laughs> Okay. Still talking about it, and that is one of the issues. It would be fine same, to say to later on in the it. game, let's draw to that spot, which is already yeah. difficult based on not how much, wide it is, but now they don't really know the speed. Fresh is a nickname for uh, lots of pebbles still out there. It's going to be a slower spot. Yeah, line. Team Canada playing with the yellow Wait, stones. They played yeah, with the same yeah. rocks in their one-two page playoff, Top and four. after a blank and one, Against Manitoba, they scored three. It's a top four T-line. Little bump. T-line. Hard lease. Hard line. Little bump. And they will sit two for the moment. You can see it all, but... Yeah, you have to... Yeah. Oh, this should much. come up, eh? The first one might, I don't know. Tricky little double here. It's no problem getting to the port. Hit the top one onto the second one, but if you hit it straight back, you could redirect that rock that was just thrown oh, by Emma like onto your own red. Try for the double. Okay. So they might be going right across up. the top here. That means they have to get dangerously close to the corner guard to do that. Very little has uh, given her trouble. Val Swedish. And here and now they go. Paderni, Courtney. This is a big save for this two. Get it by. Oh, no. And they'll touch the guard. Good sweep. Yeah, good sweep. That was out of her hand. Okay. Yeah, just a fraction tight. Shoot. There are some spots on the ice you can get away with that. The brushes can hold it. That's too close to center. It will start to move. Not a relatively big chunk, considering, as you said, Russ, you couldn't be anywhere near that guard if you wanted to try and hit it the other right. way. So I'm not sure it was even there the other way. No. It was really some tight. Yeah, exactly. That's almost yeah. easier, I think. Yeah. Well, we can do either one, so let her know the weight, and then okay. we'll call for line. Okay. okay. I think it's going to be here faster. Yeah. Back at the second end down the middle would be a little pebbler too. It's really interesting to listen to Rachel's team because they talk a lot about the release and the extension, the arm extension to apply the draw weight. Emma's two rocks reacted, reacted slightly differently to each other because on the second one she so used a different release and a different extension. Them, they have so like, much knowledge the about practice? the throw, yeah, including the really brushers bad. who watch the arm come out at these very young ages. Back to sit the three. It's perfect wave. Had no line, eh? It was coming, just a little too late. <laughs> trying to split those a bit. If we get two. That's good. So there's a pretty simple double, but I don't really see a triple. Like, okay, I think I see. It's a little dangerous if you run the uh, top one straight to back. This you way. Could redirect onto that back really red. That would okay, be the danger shot. A little bit less. This way, no run straighter. You think she's read the ice correctly here? It runs a little straighter here? 
I, I think she was just a shade tight on that first one. So yeah, she's got her figured out now. As the Maurice Richard gets very quiet. Right now, Team Canada sitting the three, needing it to curl up. Nothing Paderni, nothing Courtney, all on its own. And she's a little wide this time. And so it will be the chance to open with three. It's okay. You look for nerves. That first release for Val was over the top. Now watch the hand as she finishes this off. She's at center line, and there it goes back. Just the fingers put it back, and instantly that's moving away from center. Two completely different one. releases. That is a bit of a sign of the pressure. Trust the Finding that consistency of just letting it go the way you've back. always done yeah. it during the week. Bite of the white. Bite of the eight foot is what she needs. Weight's good. Just tee, guys. Don't need to. Don't need to. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Back eight. Keep it clean. Back four. Allison Kreviasek, Lisa Weagle will dust this one in. And just like they did against Manitoba in the one two page playoff, they score three in the second. The defending champions, Team Canada. It's Craig Holman. Watches his daughter take an early lead against Alberta. Dominant, flawless, unstoppable, incredible. Those are just a few of the ways the media have described the performance of Team Canada here in Montreal. However, even words can't say enough about just how good they have been. However, the numbers can. They are the first team to win 12 straight games at a Scotties. The highest shooting percentage in round robin history an incredible 90 percent their worst game all week as a team 84 percent and they still won it nine to three and rachel holman herself was perfect in draw 16 curling 100 percent virtually unheard of numbers for a skip but there are a few other smaller numbers that are the scariest for other women's teams in our country and that's the ages of the team canada players lisa weagle has become the best lead in canada She's 28. Alison Kraviazic, just 25. And Emma Miskew, along with Skip Rachel Holman, are both only 24 and are already making a third appearance in the Scotties playoff. It has quite simply been the most dominant performance by a team the Scotties has ever seen. And it's a team that could be number one for many more years to come. And what a week they've had, undefeated through round robin, the 1-2 page playoff win. So they come out of last year, win over Jennifer Jones, and just roll now. And pick up three in the second, just as they did in that 1-2 page playoff here at the Maurice Richard Arena. Social media and response to the game tonight. A number of people pointing out that the oldest player on the ice in this game is, in fact, Lisa Weagle, 28 years of age. And they suggesting and saying that the future of the women's game is very bright. And when you look at you know, the Sarah Colton, who comes out of UConn at the age of 20, we do have a great future in women's curling. As we welcome you back, and here in this third, it will be Alberta that does have the last rock playing the red stones. Yeah, let's go. That rollout is a big deal because now the corner guard can be peeled off. You talk okay. about their Thank ages, Vic, and the fact that they are yeah, so dominant. Really the one thing we are seeing around the world is the fact that to commit to training and competition Peel in off. the game of curling, you have to take time away from family, from home. You have to tour, you have to travel. And so in many ways, we're going to continue to see this. Ooh. Oof, oof. Now that's unexpected from someone the likes of Allison Kravia. You can throw 15 here, Dana. I don't know. That was an overthrow. Positive. Too positive Sorry, with the release. And that is what we talk about as far as them managing that release. They do put a set that's an in-out motion, and I guess a little bit too much hand action on that one. 
Rachel took a ton of ice there because it is the swingy yeah, side. But when you throw it that firm, you blue yeah. hone insert yeah. rocks. The, the granite's so right hard. Now. Once you get up to a certain speed, they just don't do anything. Right now. She'd love that one back. Still room. It's got to curl a mile. Five. Finish it. Yeah, Six, finish. seven. Finish. Finish. So right with the ages, yeah. Linda, the, uh, it could be a, arguably a bit of a changing of the guard in uh, both men's and women's curling. When you look at the Kelly Scotts and the Shannon Clive Brinks, Cheryl Bernards, and, and you're looking at these uh, younger teams coming along. I'm sure yeah. we'll be seeing a lot of teams General, making decisions okay. over the next yeah. two months as to what ah. they want to do. Yeah. Stead straight These two down, young ladies are just starting yeah, their sure. careers, even though they've both been very mm. successful so far. Great comer on there. I'm gonna try to chase it. This time you have to miss Leave narrow, not wide. Okay, whoa. You're on the guard. Whoa, I got into whoa. the path early. Oh, Roll it on him. It's lots. Okay. And it will spin to a stop finally back edge of the 12. Nice shot, just the same. Opens it up. Okay. Yeah. Team Canada realizes at some point Alberta has to make a move on that yellow one, which is very close to the red one, and there's a chance there'll be a double to get out of this uh, potential deuce. So there'll be a delay in that move, trying one to guard the red stone in the house Mine's for okay. now. I don't want to go in too Real early and leave that double. Dana Ferguson. Two. Let it Whoa. work. Whoa line. Do we need to finish? Or oh, it's no. over curling. Now. Okay. No, you're over curling. It's just really light. 16.8. It's not that light. Oh, it's good. It's roll. Mine was very fast ice. Yeah. Okay. Will mean those brushers, yeah. as competent as they are, and they are, okay, can take the rock a long way. Okay. Wait, close. Yep. Close, yeah. close. Another try at the tap. This time, Emma yes! Miskew. Little light. Hard then. So, Prevy Asig and Weagle have picked her up. A little light. Back line. Hard. Hard. Here comes that guard. Twice in a row. Okay. And this time the rock will spin out the back. One more. Still a smart error red with a three point lead. You want to breeze by everything and see another red one in behind cover. Come on up. All right. Let's control. Hitting those guards is, is, is good. It doesn't help your percentage. You're, you're probably a, what, two out of four, Linda, for one of those tick the guards? You hit it too thick. Probably. But now you either you force yes, Alberta to hit and here. roll as far as they could, okay. which is a potential rollout, or Not you much. leave them this Not shot. Okay. Chance to uh, stop Any the two. Better, I'm just worried about that. Okay. Okay. Bell didn't get the roll, so there is this chance. Trying to watch the jam, make sure they hit enough of the first round. Yep. Yeah. Hard. Again, right out of her hand. Privy Azic, Weagle, go to work. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. One, over, and off the top, yeah. and it'll stay. So the potential for the deuce is still alive now for yeah. Alberta. She stayed on it. <laughs> that was their chance there. Now they can spread them out a little bit. Yeah, this could be a bit of a slower spot here. There wouldn't be too many down this lane. Go. Mine's good. Ooh, light. Where? Hard to line to. Where are we? Seven. Mine's good for the three. Are you back there? One. Make sure you're even. You're not gonna have it for the three. Hard. Seven. Hard. 
Ferguson, Paderni, yeah, seven, yeah, yeah, Eli, right. eight, Come maybe on, back. And they're pretty good with the call of seven. Nice pressure, Shell. They wanted to bring it back to try and prevent the easier hits and rolls. And there's a lot of territory between those two red rocks. So all Rachel can do is try and move it. And there's that ice we see so often near the inside corner of the rock. Yep. Oh. Rachel Holman. Yep. Oh. Her first here in three. Oh. Up three nothing. And we'll roll it over. Okay, Rachel. Get it out, please. And slide underneath. Wanted to hang around there. As Linda said, uh, and then Alberta hits a dead on, then there might be a double. <laughs> what did I throw on mine there, Val? Pardon? I should come on camera. Yeah. yeah. Did it feel true? Yes. Okay. Linda, you showed us in the second, Val Sweeting may be showing a little nerves with her release. What are you looking for from her here? Yeah, just a clean release. So those two that she played in the second end were totally different. The first one, her hand came over the top. There you can see the hand in the release motion. Looks nice and straight, handshake position. That should give them a better read. Yeah, no, we don't. Line's great. Line's great. Okay, well, maybe. We're to it. Okay. Line's perfect. Do you need Make it? Right, please. Need I it. No, 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 no. Just clean. We're fine. It's fine. We're just to it. We're on it. We're fine. You need it? Yeah, they're just to it. And they just tap Four it back eight. to sit the two. There might Sorry. be enough angle here now. I didn't really want to be back there, but. Oh, sorry. I thought that's what the call was. Oh. It's fine. A little miscommunication yeah. there. They thought they were drawing to the back one, so the whole way down, the brushers were playing a different shot. Are they even? It watched almost as the exact oh, same right. shot uh, yeah, against Manitoba in the 1-2 game. It's there. Oh, so a chance for oh, Team Canada, oh, oh. Rachel Holman, oh. to get out of some trouble here. Taking the brushers out of it. Oh, I, oh. And it'll stop on the edge of the eight. That's a tough one again with the big distance. You have to protect a little bit based on getting the three last in. You don't want to be blowing that one by. So not a bad throw, maybe a little bit in out motion She's hit the extra. Mm -hmm. She's got to hit the stand, yeah. You had to make the other team play the hit. Well, we say it's so much more difficult for the parents to watch. They have no control. Final stone yes. looking for a couple. Clean. Clean. Just clean. Just clean. And two it is. So after giving up three in the second, Alberta reply with a couple. It's a three-two game. Former Olympic sites are able to uh, relight their flame when an Olympic Games is being played. And uh, with the Sochi Games underway, the flame is lit here in Montreal. Think back to the Olympic trials in Winnipeg and what a performance put on by Jennifer Jones and her team. The win over Sherry Madaw to wear the Maple Leaf and the Canadian coats in Sochi. The curling all begins tomorrow. Sochi time and at 5 a.m. Eastern time, Jennifer Jones will play her first game against Bingu Wang, the bronze medalist from Vancouver and former world champion playing China.
Prime Minister Harper joins us. He was here for the bronze medal game, now has his Canada jacket on, and watching this, the gold medal game of the Scotties here in Montreal. And one of these teams will also wear the Maple Leaf at the Ford Women's Worlds to be played in St. John, New Brunswick at that beautiful Harbor Station Arena, March 15th through the 23rd. As we welcome you back to the Maurice Richard. So that's a nice bounce back if you're Alberta. You give up the three in the second. You come back with the deuce. You play it well. You keep the rocks separated. Rachel Holman on like able to make the, the double when given a chance. So it's a one-point game. And here in four, it is Team Canada. The defending champions that will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the yellow stone. And Rachel Holman's a little annoyed at herself. Oh, Lisa Weaver played a tick on oh. her first, and it was the offensive tick trying to oh. roll the yellow into the rings, and it looks to me like really it just spun girl. through. Now they're playing the tick the we're other way. Okay. And a little too Wait. thin. It's really good. Guards up here. Let's use them. So this side. 15. Tick more for me, maybe? So, it won't you're looking for side. little things. Easy, early. Yeah. It's pretty straight. Now, I know we saw Allison uh, Kerviasic miss one. We see Lisa Weagle right there miss a little tick shot, right? I mean, those really little light. those really little things which have been so Hi. successful Two. this week and Hi, in the past for uh, Rachel Hi. Holman. Is it, a, is it a point Hi. of worry for you, Linda, at this point? I don't think anywhere. you worry about those ticks necessarily. Three, now, three, Lisa three, played six in the game against Manitoba, the one-two game, and she was very effective. She got either a three out of four or a four out of four in every one of them. In the last end, okay. she made okay. both. So we do see her make them so often, but they are tough shots. You're not going to make them all. And if the first one had like rolled in, on like then you it, might have but... seen uh, Rachel draw a different shot of, out of Alberta. So that was a brushing error by Rachel. Oh, exactly. Now there's a little bit of a wall out front. So real quick. Fastest pass too. The longest one that was just thrown is not yeah. too big a concern. The corner guard on the side is not a problem at all. They could just peel that top rock. They are up by one. Don't have to get too aggressive here. I think I'm top eight. Close. I think I'm there, guys. Should be pretty good. Wait, it's good. Line on curl. Right off. Right off. Hold oh, well, on. Top four. It's coming hard. Don't touch. No, no, no. Still there, At the end, no. Top it's way too deep. Anything? No. No, no, it's buried. Oh, there it is. It's completely covered. Slides to the top of the button. Well, it's a challenging shot if it's high in the house, top 12, for example, there's a very short run back for Alberta. But as soon as you bring it in deep, oh, now Alberta again? can play the no. freeze and try and shrink the no circles. Okay. Well, here's a left handers out here. turn no, that is going to be extremely no, difficult to really. follow. No, no. Emma's in turn. No. We're chopping right now. Yeah, we're not. chopping big. We're back eight. Dana Ferguson. Yeah, yeah go on it. Yeah. <laughs> And yep, there's the yep, rub, there's the chap, and there's the roll. Rolling big. Now push the shot stone out if there is, in fact, a hole between those two stones on the left and center. Yeah. Okay, yeah, take a little off. Just take two feet off here. Perfect. I gave it a good extension at the end, maybe if I just tone it down a bit. Many people would think that you would automatically play the hit on the red stone. And there's a lot of... Uh, reasons why this team is no. so good about managing where stone Please. should be. Less, less, guys. A little less. Lines tighter. Well, yeah. that, just, that little discussion Whoa. there, we've, we've, we've yeah. remarked over the course of the week how good their communication Four. is, these two. Four. Or this team has Miss Q and Weagle now. This is going to be all over guard. this top guard, That's it light. will. But she said, you know, my, my first, I had the extension. Not even there. Maybe I'm going to pull off a little bit, and maybe that shot is a result of her just pulling back. Yeah, we talked about how well they know about managing the speed, using arm extension no, was, to feel the speed. Yeah. But you're right, that was a little bit too much as far yeah. as the difference in the arm extension. And that will not make it. Yeah, just normal. The call was to get in there because Rachel didn't want the other team to have a chance to play that same freeze. That's why they didn't hit the red one. But 
That miss does leave an hour okay. run back. Be careful with this run back, though. If you make it, it's everything's beautiful. But if you roll open, you open up the entire scoring area, and it gives uh, Rachel a chance to get in there. That's an interesting way to get a shot, Rock. <laughs> Not good though because it rolled the uh, yellow one partly under cover and now the uh, shot rock's fully exposed. Huh? Well, that's it's interesting when you watch choices. That was a choice. Kind of way do you like? That's nothing wrong with the choice, I don't but. I like uh, controller board. I like board. Hey. Now you listen to the weight selection. Okay. Even on that run back, you Would didn't you have to throw this? normal or right. up weight. You could have played a little less right. weight to yeah, try and guarantee the, the nose line. hit on the front one. Great yeah. point. It's you could have pulled draw weight at it. Just have to back into the rings, have a usable I rock, have a setup rock. Never comes up. Okay, whatever you like. This could get messy for Alberta. I think that's easier. Just there's awful. If you don't get the roll, it's so hard not to roll out. Okay. Throw control. Hey. Okay. Can the roll not be made to the left-hand side as we look at it behind their own, sit in the eight-foot? Oh, yes, it can. Yeah, you can, you can roll either way, actually. They, they, yeah, she's, Rachel's a little hard. afraid of rolling. Uh, control oh, This hard. one's a little tight. Hard, guys, go! Whoa, whoa, hard! Three Asic, Weagle. Hard, get a roll! Oh, whoa, whoa. Hard. Did they hold the line for her? No, right on the beak. That was interesting because uh, Russ is right. That was inside pretty mm. fast. And I thought what Rachel would do is actually call them off, as right. Emma was suggesting. But she kept it the whole way, so they're pretty seven. close together. Same weight. Oh, eight. Seven. Thin double. If you hit about half a rock, you might make the double, but your shooter will roll uh, almost backwards right out of the sheet. So just got to get this really thin if you want to stick it. We've seen Joanne Courtney at times overthrow a stone this week. Here's her chance to make a double here in the fourth. And this one will roll across and sit for second shot. That curled hard too. I'd like to touch that. I think it's surprising them a bit out there. Take a look at uh, I'm gonna assume so, and if it's okay. a little light, it's better. Okay. I think it's top four. You see the corner, a nice setup for the uh, Team Canada so far here. Uh, just can't rotation. bounce off, set up yep. a double. Yeah, well, line's good. Oh, yeah, line only. Clean. Whoa. Back bar. It's really close. Back Clean it. Yes. Do you want Hard! Hard! Just you gotta touch it! Go! Snuggle up and be hard. second shot. Get that little roll over and off. And not quite. But if you tap these the right way, does that red go now? Oh, for sure. The red goes for sure, Vic. Yellow's pretty well underneath cover, though. Just a bit of an overcurl here with Emma. It looked like she threw it pretty good, but we've talked about that center line a lot this week. Once it gets across that line early, all the brushing oh and the roll won't hold it. That seems really hard. Chisel this and roll. If we ever touch that, we're not it's even just, second. Yeah, so I don't think. Noah's nose is close. Kills and all. She might sink one, but. Okay. If you like it. I don't know what else we do. Unless we just. Can we play the, plug like, the tap hole five? and hope she doesn't make a run back? Can we. Well, that, yeah, that's the other, just try and... It's really tough. That hole so between the yellow like and red guards has proven to be difficult do. with the so amount of curl they're finding. So if we put it close, though? Maybe. Like, if we go I here... I don't mind trying for here. Okay. If I'm a little bit heavy, we just play the chop, and we'll push this behind ours. Okay. I like that. I can pick that out, probably lose the shooter, but the problem with that is the angle that Emma has, even though she didn't get second shot raw, so she's left an angle there that this red one is exposed. The angle's perfect on that yellow-red combination, so 
I think Val's changed her mind and she's going to try to drop one in here somewhere. Not a lot of real estate to aim at, but it's probably the right call. They even talked Heading about throwing a center guard here. Yeah. Just if Rachel ever better, runs in that long yellow one in the right area, it's a three. Okay, Rene Sonnenberg is the uh, fifth player, the alternate, okay, okay. has uh, comes out for all the discussions, has a wonderful way about her, Linda. We've we'll talked about ours. that, always so okay, calm, so presents something, never here. overbearing. Yeah, okay. High 14. Okay. Has played in two Scotties, and then uh, Coach Tana Smiley is uh, there, too. She's uh, been battling the the flu for a couple of days that has really bothered many of the teams all week here in Montreal. They're going to be all over these guards here. We're trying to bounce it now. Plug the hole possibly or take some of the hole away. Did they leave a hole? Good. What was that? 15-7. Okay. Just, just through. Okay. Is there enough room between these two rocks? Or do you want to throw just like here and move them? Yeah. I'd like to throw just through. Okay. Put it up. Oh, it's a good ice. Should be close. Wow. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, gotta get by this exactly outside one. Oh. You're, you're looking at three bear. The hole's there. Oh, right there. <laughs> there is room, but it's it's as Linda pointed out, you're 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 playing in that back and forth on that center line. Rachel's, Rachel's positive it might not come off that center guard. But it's just a hair more him. We know it curls. Is there a chance that it could That's curl so good. much not to get through? Oh, for sure. Yeah, exactly. And then it could redirect onto that red one that you're looking at in the center line and tap it into a good spot. It's a really big shot if you ever make it. Oh, oh, oh. Rachel yep, yep, yep. This is her first and right away. Kirby Asik Weagle got her. Al being called off, trying to come skinny through that hole. Just touch the yellow up, get rid of the red. Now they got her again. Get through that hole, get through that hole. Oh, they did! Touch it up! Now where will that shooter go and it'll spill? But sitting the two. That's really tough to judge that line. They were on it a little bit too much, but my goodness, it looked like it wanted to curl. Oh, they actually just got by the center line rock. To sit three was actually hair heavy, oh. but to get through that hole was an incredible shot. It's tough before. Oh, it's on that four. Yeah. Sorry, I wasn't thinking of that four. I'm like, oh, why? Too tough on the numbers. Okay. Even if we get it. This gentleman yeah. has been uh, running this flag okay. I like it. for so many years. His name is Jack Cox. He is 83 years of age and we've seen him and there's a great concourse here that he can run jack's been doing that for yeah. a long long time always in support of ontario yep. teams okay we ever just okay just to the pin yeah it looks top that center red one yeah either to the Box. button buried or towards that shot rock the weight, I'm sure Val will be fairly close on the weight, but the line is really tough with this much curl. Line's really Line good. Up weight. Close. Don't need to go for weight. No. Oh, well, not yet. Line only. Close oh, weight. Close yeah. weight. Yes. 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 Oh, no. Don't want to. Yeah. Courtney Paderni. Trying to hold this line now. This is all about line. All about getting to the nose. And now where? And now where? And now where? And then, oh my, it'll go to the center line. And just almost through back edge of the 12. Yeah. Sorry, I was, I was trying for that. Yeah. Well, it was just so difficult. The brushers were trying to explain how heavy it was. You needed such specific information to know how much curl to get, to angle it, to get it back on that yellow and not go by it. Really tough. 
She was trying to cut them off. And it was made to, you just let it, because of the extra speed, just let it bend. It goes right into that shot rock and a chance to steal a point. Oh boy. I really think it was Dana that got a little confused about how to make that. Yeah. No, there's no way. She assumed the weight was on the button. No, I know it's straight. <laughs> I think maybe just back line. Can you yeah, just tap it back line? Yeah. Might be a bit slower. I think it'll be good. We've been over Should be okay. Over. Yeah. Her last one was hack. Do you think? I don't mind hack. Same I think weight? back line might. Well, they're dead straight, eh? Yeah. Uh, out here might be a bit better than near center. I mean, I'd I rather like tick this than tick yeah, that. Yeah, me too. In. Yes. Yep. Just back line. Pretty makeable tap. We're right behind the sheet. Uh, Rachel can see about half of this, and if it actually, if she gets lucky, gets the right angle, she can actually uh, maybe get that back red one on the way by. Yeah, back line's not bad. Wide. We put our guards up wide. Ali missed. The inside out peel. There's a good angle of it. Getting that uh, red one hanging around be the first part of the equation. But if you ever get that back red one going away. It's for four. Final stone sitting two right now. Scored three in the second with Last Rock and looking for multiple points again. Kerviasic, we called right off by Emma Miscu. Needs to come up for her. Needs to come up for her and touch this back, and the shooter will roll away. Okay. And so, it will be the two. And that is still a big escape for Alberta and Pal Sweeting. It's 5-2 after four. I don't know what it is. Sometimes the really good ones see shots and are able to make shots that Mere mortals can't, and <laughs> this is one of them. This was Rachel Holman's first. It's the soft shots we talked about at the start of the week that this team's improved on. This was the only weakness they had. That was way, way harder than it looked. Had to cross the center line at the right time. Had to have the right speed. Sticks it for two, buried, and gave herself a really good chance for three. And then couldn't make her last shot to get a deuce. The key shot brought to you by Scotty's Tissue, the perfect touch of design and softness. Yeah, Superwoman. The Hominator, I'll be hacked. I wouldn't even use that. <laughs> and, it's too, and it's too bad, actually, you did use it because I had it written down here. <laughs> the championship trophies that will go to the uh, winning teams, silver medals, bronze medals, and, of course, the uh, gold. And as Linda says, all within view, just out of the corner of your eye as you play here at the Maurice Richard Arena on this Sunday night. I said that Alberta oh, escaped. He no, 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 only no, no, no. had two scored against them, but it could have very easily been three. They're down now 5-2 yeah, yeah, as we yeah, go. Hard, go to hard. the fifth, and it will be Alberta. And Val Sweeting out of the Savile okay. Community Sports Center in Edmonton that does have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the redstone. Well, the first conversation we heard even before the last end was concluded was the team talking about how they might generate to this end. And this is how they did it in the second yes. end. They put the corner up on this side. And once the end got going, there were misses on trying to get by that corner guard and make taps. First of all, for Alberta, they'll try and rearrange these. That's good. That's a good shot. I thought Rachel might nice peel the guard here. Down here. I do it straight everywhere. Yeah, you know it. Do you want control? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the other this option, sitting two. There's nothing wrong with that either. You got it. When do you often say you play your opposition? So if you're Rachel Holman, are you looking at this Val Sweeting control. side and going, yep. Please. maybe we Same. sense Whoa. a little nervousness no. from them? One of you. Uh, an odd shot that's other not way, being made and... We're just going to keep putting the pressure on. I think so. Okay, I th Alex. think that uh, is a good plan. It's what I suggested at the start of the game, to keep nice applying the pressure. That does not mean the Val Sweeting's yeah. team won't make some shots. And if you leave rocks around like that corner guard, yeah, there could be a deuce generated. But you have to make their shots hard. This is a 
good chance for Dana to make a play because it isn't as hard a shot. The yellow one in behind Lines the close. corner guards Wait, actually close. a benefit Team. to them. Don't need to. Mine's really okay, good. Stay close. Mine only right now. Oh, room, room. Real close. Yep. Mine only. Yep. To it. Pump it. Room. Well, room. Room. Eight. No. Oh. Come Rock. on. Get over. Good. 14-7. You can blast the oh, winter applause away with some of the biggest Seriously? movies, White Back House court. Down, Grown Ups 2, or Monsters University, and so much more, all February, That's and only really on gone. TMN, the She's pretty good. movie network. It. Contact your TV provider to subscribe. Pretty good, guys. Oh, somebody said it was Gotta a little go. light out. It? It's light in this spot. It will curl big. Hard, hard, hard. Rub off. Weagle and Miss you, and we've go, seen go, this go, before. Go, 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 go. Well, Swedings team predicted this was a possibility. They oh, wanted to try and use that same spot where they got the mistake in two, and once again, Allison Rex. Like guard again? I'm not sure what to do here, really. I think this is too early. Oh, oh we have a That's dead. Cap, right? Yeah. 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 I think this is good, Dan, because that red guard still helping still have the yellow behind it. Yeah. Let's make this right up. Dana Ferguson throwing the second stones, Whoa, then she vices and stop, stop, holds stop. the Clean. brush for Skip Bell, oh, sweetie. No, you're not. Okay. Good. Okay. 10 1. <laughs> I was like, I see that out and up. <laughs> the calm voice of the skip because that was a little stronger than was asked, but still fine. Just here? Okay. Oh, it's fine. It's a curly spot. Do you want to throw a lot? <laughs> I was trying to throw 10, but I wasn't trying to throw out. Uh, I can throw <laughs> good shot. normal up. You know, good skip two will know eye, okay. her players as well, male or I think female. I'd rather pee out because if that we're just inside, we get a good roll. Okay. And if we just know it, acts, then we go by everything. Okay. Her calmness yeah. hopefully will transfer to the rest down, of the team. You're a bit down, it's okay. That definitely is a part of it. She stands down there and she doesn't show any emotion. She just looks ready to play, and that does translate down the lineup. Help. Emma Miskew. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. And we'll lose that shooter. Dana was 14. High 14 here. Yep. Really close for shots done. It looks like it may be Team Canada by just a whisker. Edge of the eight foot T line. Joanne Courtney. Let it go. Only if you have to. You got it clear. You got to wait. Yeah, you're okay. You can go. Yeah. Six. Lock it on. It's getting better. Mine's getting better. Hard. Right, you got to be biting eight. Line's really good. Hard. Right. Yep. Hard right for line now, too. Yep. Hard. Right. Six. Hard. 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 You got it. Hard. Hard. Just this shot. Lower, lower. Oh, it'll just over curl on them to just that much. Just could not hold it and drag it at the same time. That's how much curl is there, Vic. You, if you're not out in the ice and you're watching on TV, it's the only way you can read the ice. When they let that go, Joanne said, I set it and wide. It actually ran down the line, which is the straighter side, and it's still yeah. over curl. Okay. Yeah, Big finish there. Board, make sure nothing. It'll stay out here, I think. I'll give you max ice. Okay. No, this is fine. If you want to throw a board and tighten up the ice. Allie's didn't move an inch with control off the line. Okay. okay I'll throw it. Okay. I'll be a little careful with Emma. I don't feel like she's throwing the rock as well as she has all week. And so if she's feeling uncomfortable no, no, no. with the weight, then I think I'd listen to her. No, no, no. Stay close. Solid hack. Close. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And roll it underneath. Oh. Oh. I was just trying to get Boy. shot. And okay. just. Pops out, but she said I was trying to get shot, and so that's what they do have. 
Okay. And sitting the two now. Yeah, eleven here. That was a much better throw. Still got lots of curl. And they did roll it over far enough to sit two, but it is open. It is Alberta that does have the last rock. They have the hammer here in this fifth. Ferguson and Paderni. This has got to get hard, by that Yellowstone. Hard. Oh, no. And they'll just touch the shot rock on 11, the way three. by. Lose the shooter, and they'll push that stone to the back of the 12. Still may be sitting the two. It's very close. Uh, yeah, we are. Actually, this does look like a little bit different yeah. sheet than we have seen. It's there is more eight. curl now with both the turns. We, can go we saw this particular spot okay, run relatively straight. We're now that sure was guys. less weight than we have seen at times, you but still, I think we're getting more movement. I think you're right, Linda. In the, the, the second end, there was five over curls in a row, both seven. teams. So, what do you think about middle? Yeah, I like the middle. Okay. Maybe a little bit more clip. We can hold it out too. Like as soon as we touch it, they just go up. Yeah. Clipping is something the ice maker would do, is that right? Super yeah, light. sorry, Vic. Yeah, the uh, yeah, with the ice light, yeah. with your scraping machine, the four foot stainless steel blade, well, you just set it at a small angle, much. and you just after it's been We're pebbled, you just clip the very the tips so. okay. off. It's like laser okay. eye surgery, and you just get maybe twenty percent of the pebble okay. off. So watch that on the line. It okay. allows uh, the more you take off, the more curl you're going to have. Fifteen, eh? Yeah. yeah. Speed. Yeah. Because they are uh, sitting two here, it allows Rachel to be aggressive. We close. I mean, to come around on her own guard. Make sure it's in. That's all. No, no it's tons of yeah. work. It's not even close. Definitely not light. Whoa, whoa. It's coming hard. Yeah, it's curling now. Wait only. Oh, only if you have to. We're good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Full four. Full four. Go. Go now. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. It's there. Great shot. Great that was a great oh, yeah. read on where to guess. put the broom. <laughs> Add to that, of course, a nice throw and good brushing. It was a team shot. It and it came down the right. Just came in beautifully at the end. They thought for a while it wasn't going to make the move, but it definitely has movement right across the sheet. I would have buried uh, yesterday in that spot. Okay. What were you thinking after we tap it? I don't know. If we tap and roll open, it's going to be tough to score. Right. Okay. Unless we try running it. If we don't clip it, hey, we're not going to get to the So just freeze? Yeah, lock it on the corner and have to have something. Okay. <laughs> Somewhere Dangerous there. times here for Val. You could play the run back. It needs to be made, though, but that would open things up. and you'd, want to corner it, though? You'd live to play another yeah. end. Yeah. Gonna free, kind of freeze to the corner here for second head. shot. Some sort of shot for two. Unless we play the run. I'm just scared she's gonna cap it off if we corner it. But Would if I miss just... the run, at least the button's still open, I guess, for one. Did you ever just, yeah, rip the front? Well, I would try killing Yeah, it. like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we gotta run that. Mm. Okay. No, just to make like sure, to yeah, freeze. we have the button. <laughs> Let's make this foul. Yeah. I think so. We want to guard that side of anything. And get, well, no, that's a triple. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> In spine, though. So she's yeah. flawed. Yeah. Well, it's. Yep. Yeah. Val Sweeting, this is her first. It's really back. Come on. Okay. Just, yeah. Backing Take the off. Shooter. Get the and shooter. Driving out of the way. it back. Good. Okay. Perfect. We just talked okay. about ice reading and the fact that it's curling off. so much, but as soon as you add that extra weight, you're not going to get that yeah. kind of movement. No. So it is a less guess so as to where to put like the broom. Yeah. Okay. Got to be on this side of it. Which side? Got to be on this side, otherwise there's a double for two. Okay. Like the eight, leaves. I took two inches less ice. You've got to guard my side, right? Yeah. Where I can leave it this? half open for all I care. What? Where do you want this? Uh, really tight. Okay. But mine's more important. I mean, yeah. let it come up. We got to cross center. Sorry, tight guard. Yeah, we got to oh, cross center okay. completely. The 
protecting against the double, so she's taking a little less ice. Of course, it Lines won't really travel as far yeah. because it's a guard she's playing. Tate. Lean it. Make sure it's in front and in particular guarding the side towards the other yellow. Guarding eight. How's line? Line's perfect. Just top 12. Just clean. Sweep, guys. That's good. Good. Good shot. You know, we. The rest of the team is playing well. I knew over through, but I, but I couldn't Rachel beat you. Holman right now is as sharp as she has been all week. Yeah, I agree, and I I watched Rachel for a long, long time, and the only no. chink in the armor that once in a while pops up is that hey. draw weight. And this week she's just been incredible, 90% on her draws, and the that yeah. was maybe two inches left of perfect. Yeah, that high 14. Okay. No. So this is what you've got if you're. Al Sweeting, you're going to draw against three, and you need a piece of the button. Line's good. Belt all there. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. It's curling like it. Yeah, it's curling a little. Not curling much yet. No, a lot. Yeah, you're getting. Line's good. Line's good. Stay close. Michelle Paderni. Joanne Courtney. Yeah, we don't have this one. Easy, easy. easy. Whoa. Backed off now. They need this no, button. No, 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 Joe. No, Joe. They need no. this button. Nice. Nice shot. Wow. <laughs> Prime Minister is impressed too. So's dad. That gal pal just put it on the lid. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> The 2014 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. The 2014 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. And by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. Based solely on sharpness, well, that would, the edge would have to be given to the defending champions, Team Canada. They lead 5 3 over Alberta. Brian is with the 2013 Ottawa Athlete of the Year, Rachel Homan. Rachel, we've seen this movie before. In your last game, you blank the first and you pick up a big three. How comfortable do you feel with your game right now? It seems that you've been playing just lights out. Yeah, I mean, uh, team's playing really well right now. We're, they're judging really well. Supers are, are sweeping everything to the right spot. And so we just got to keep continuing this through the next uh, five ends. And hopefully we can just keep pushing through and grind this game away. So much experience at a young age. You're only lost at the Scotties the last two years coming to Jennifer Jones. You've been there, done that. But are there still nerves ever at a big game like this? Definitely. I mean, those are never going to go away, and it's a good thing to have. Um, if you're not nervous, then it doesn't mean anything to you, right? So um, it definitely means a lot to us, and uh, we're going to try and leave everything out on the ice. Prime Minister's here wearing a Team Canada jacket. Is that a good omen for you guys, or what? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Olympics are around, so things are wearing an Olympic jacket. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's nice to, to have the support from all the fans that have come out from Ottawa. And there's a ton of them, so we're, we're uh, really thankful for that. Thanks for your time. Thank you. And Linda, there are many who believe that at a given time, Rachel Holman will one day wear one of those Olympic jackets. Numbers after five. Well, they have Olympic-type numbers, especially that draw percentage of 91%. Same problem with Alberta. The nerves are showing. Joanne Courtney's at 68%. Dal Sweeting has tougher shots than she's at 65%. A big spread at that back-end area. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. Alberta trailing Team Canada at the break. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts Championship Trophy that will be presented to the winning team as well as their uh, championship banner. No tiebreakers this year. These are the final round robin results. The four teams through, clear, and on through the young team from the Yukon Northwest Territories. First time a 
team had represented the territories out of the Yukon since 2000, young Sarah Colton. She arrived here in Montreal as a virtual unknown and the longest of long shots at this year's Scotties. 20-year-old Sarah Colton said that she just wanted to gain some valuable experience for the future and hope to fit in with our country's best teams. The last time a team from Yukon had appeared at the Scotties was 14 years ago, and that team had failed to win a single game. We all feared that this team of juniors would have the same fate. It only took two games, however, to find out we had nothing to worry about. After barely losing to Alberta in draw one, Team Yukon easily took care of Prince Edward Island by a score of 10-3. And suddenly, Sarah Colton's team was the talk of the town. Yes, at times this week, their inexperience was on display and eight straight losses would follow as our country's best teams gave them many curling lessons. But through it all, this group showed the entire field there was one thing that they would never do, and that was quit. Even as those losses did pile up, their determination, their teamwork, their spirit, well, it never wavered. They became the crowd favorites, not because they were winning, but because they never stopped trying. So on Friday morning, sporting a 1-9 record, Team Yukon took to the ice for the very last time in a game against Saskatchewan. In their very first game this season, at a September Bonspiel in Edmonton, Sarah Colton's team had shocked everyone by beating Stephanie Lawton. And in their last game of the season, now, this time, center stage at the Scotties, wouldn't you know it, this little team that could did it again. A 6-5 win and a perfect way for the youngest team in Scotties history to wrap up their week. They came to Montreal hoping to learn from our country's best teams and ended up being the ones who taught the rest of the field a lesson, and that is never give up. Not bad for a team that just wanted to fit in. Sarah Colton, Chelsea Duncan, Patty Wallingham, and Andrea Sinclair are now on their way back to Whitehorse with wonderful memories. And those of us still here in Montreal have memories too of a great performance by a terrific young team. As we welcome you back to the Maurice Richard Arena, our coverage the final of the Scotties Tournament of Hearts and Alberta with their single in five the draw to the button for the one and so it is team canada that leads it five three on the board and team canada and rachel holman and her team from the ottawa curling club will once again have the last rock they have the hammer here in six playing the yellow star good you couldn't ask for much more if you were alberta for the start of this end the tick was missed that was by team canada lisa weagle Nice come around by Alberta. Tick was missed uh, or wasn't tried the second time. The freeze was missed. That's the yellow one to the back. So Lisa heavy on both of her attempts. But that one comes a little bit deep. And now Team Canada will try and clean it up. Yep. Oh. yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another chink in the armor here. I was a little surprised Val went deep with the second one, tried to choke off that yellow one at the back, but you're two points down, it's a great chance okay, to so steal. Could have yeah. kept it in front of the tee line, okay. would have been a little more valuable. Nice little chance here, though. We're not going to see that many misses in a row from this <sighs> team. Maybe more. ever. Probably just a two and a half. Hey, okay, a little bit of Dana Ferguson. Well, keep an eye on the ticks. There's been three tries can, by Lisa Wiggle. The out turn was a make, and the two interns are a miss. So we'll see if okay, any changes right made now. by Rachel to call yellow. that you other turn. Even with the yellow. Yep, hard. Yep. Hard. 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 Yep. Hard. 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 Smart call here if you uh, you try yeah. the yellow red peel if it bends a little bit you might get the shot rock right off the button. Yep. Hard. Hard guys go. Allison Kirby has a. 
and by. Well, in the first half of the game, Allison was 70%, way lower than normal, and and now two mistakes here. And this is something, Russ, we don't see or haven't seen at least this Just week, here, if Rochelle. at all. Yeah. Okay. Is a, a Team Canada that is chasing. They have the last rock. They have the hammer. Usually they're applying the pressure. Similar and here they Boston. are yeah. facing an Alberta side right now that's sitting two without. Yeah, we talk a lot about these teams curl 85% now. It's how you manage that 15%, and that was managed the wrong way. You had to miss that the other way. Ticket high side, you make the double, at least get one of the reds out of the way. And uh, not only did you not move the uh, critical reds, but you rolled over for another guy. Right Alberta it's on that back one lighter. Wow. They do have three buried in behind cover at this point. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. Maybe six. Joanne hard, Courtney hard, trying to wrap it around. And she snuggles up beside to sit the three. Absolutely jammed it there and so leaves the Team Canada stone just off center line. Yeah. Okay. Despite the 12 or? Yeah. Okay. Prolong the, the protection of these stones in the forefoot. There's Six probably only two more tries for Canada and then Rachel will have to make her last ones. Where do you put this? You could go longer. Then that yellow one could be run in. You could go right Three. in again. They're nice going to go halfway in between, maybe top Three. 12, partly buried, Three. choke off that yellow raid. Easy, early. Easy. Easy. Two and a half. No. No, close to a three. No. Way out there. Take a turn. No. Yeah. 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 Hard. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Three. Hard. Hard. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Nice throw, just too much yeah, ice. Sorry, well. That's a critical time, Linda, to um, not get the ice call right. Am. Well, um, um, just be that's a spot exactly that we've talked about that actually is really tricky. Her. And it, it did cut off one path, however, it does leave the run back, but you better make it now. No, right off. Emma Miscue Whoa. will try it. Yep. Whoa. Oh. Get up. Oh, she'll get yeah. one and then the jam at the back. But both the shot stones belonging to Alberta are now deep. They're behind the T line. Yeah. Is this a hair wider than everything? Yeah. So this should, one should still come up? Should come up, yeah. Okay. Easy early though. At least they're behind the T line for Canada. There's a little bit of breathing room now. <laughs> mm. Big time. Want this ball? We can go good. Make it good. Okay. okay. I think same as draw the button, hey? Yep, same as your last draw. Okay. 15 ish. Top four. There is room on the uh, opposite turn for Rachel. Val Sweeting, her first. Whoa, you go Six. wheat. Whoa. Whoa. Seven. No. Jeez. A mistake Jeez. on the brushing judgment okay. there. Oh, no. Six. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yep. Finish it if you can. No. Yep. 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 Not far off, but it's that early brushing that they did, thinking it was going to be very light, and it wasn't. It was fine. A couple Sorry, of times now. Great weight. Okay. Just a little bit wider than mine, so it just kind of tracked a bit differently. Yeah. Yeah. Great weight. It's just like awesome. It's still a huge mess for Rachel. Mm -hmm. And even if you go where her broom is, it can be slashed in there. That one that was just thrown by Val Sweetie. Okay, same weight up and throw on it. Rachel might run that red one back. Mm. 
Lots of room here, though. The uh, yellow guard's over far enough. It shouldn't be an issue. Let's make our speed here. Yeah. We talked about a hair more curl today. Have they got that figured out? Hey, Rich. You got your weight. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Alberta is sitting three. Rachel Holman in her first. We're a little light. Trying to go take it right Line's down right. and really put it on the Line's lid. Line. Line's really good. Wait, Holy! Line's good. Wait, good. Oh, yes, Trevi Asik, yes. Weagle now. It's all Let about it the line. Oh, it's all about getting it through the hole here. Oh, here comes that guard out just off the center line. Get it by that. Yes, they do. Take it down now. And they will. And it'll be Shot Stone. That rushing, though, takes it to behind the T-line. It wouldn't stop. Because if we bounce open, it's really bad. I called it that way. It had enough weight. If it bounces open, they just hit it and we're in trouble. <laughs> We're just a little upset that they kept rushing, but Emma had a good point. If they stop now, it curls onto this top red just, one, I kicks we open, fine. and Val can hit it to sit it, four. No, you just, yeah, but I, if you bounce too much, she could nose it, and then she blocks every shot. Alright. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Same thing again, freeze on top of your little light, you probably force Rachel to one. If you ever tap it, just hit two, take your chances. Line's good. But a bit different in. ice because Fan of the different throw it. from Val. Like to go as soon as you can. No, no, it's close. No, it's close. Means you're going to have to wait a little Stay longer to get down. by that no, guard. To Final stone. Okay, and nothing good. yet from Paderni or, or no, Courtney waiting. Got to get off there. That stone there, get off it. They did. Now they'll take it. Now they'll pick it up. Now they'll drag it. Oh, they had to wait. They had to wait. They had to wait. Oh, and they'll get it there. Shoot. You wanted it higher? No, I wanted oh, it blocked, okay. but oh, okay. if it wasn't you know, right beside and shot. How much? Just had to be deeper in that one. Great shot by Val, but she had to get back to that she yellow one, even tap it. Now Jake, this, this is Mark's ice. This doubles there. No, I'm just asking. Yeah, we can hold it. We had it even thin, though. We had to hit like yeah, a Yeah, I know. I don't mind a little more. Like it? Yeah. Hey, let's go, buddy. Now, is this a double for the single, or can she hold the shooter somewhere to... Or is that not possible? No, the double's long gone. This would be P.O. Wade to hit it as thin as you can. Kick that shot rock. It should go dead sideways along the T-line. Final stone right now. It's a stolen point. Trying to hold the line. Hold the line. Oh, and it's going to sit there. What it is. What it is for Team Canada. Kicked her own. Too far. But it had that little catcher at the back Don't of worry. the floor. Yeah, sorry, guys. Get one. They do. From the Maurice Richard Arena here in Montreal, our final evening at the Scotties, the gold medal. Final. There. And Rachel nice Holman, the defending champion, has been on her game. Good. Nice sweet. Nice sweet. Makes the double. I'll throw a batter. The shot stone hey, didn't heavy. roll yeah, too far. Picks up the single in six. And so here in seven, it is Val Sweden and Alberta out of the Savile Community yeah, Sports Center in Edmonton that do have the last rock playing the red stones and down by three. I think you got Great job by Rachel, but he dodged a bullet there. That was not a good end by Team Canada. And, uh, 
Val stopped in exactly the wrong spot there. Even short, I think, uh, Rachel's forced to a single. And if you bring it deeper and tap it, uh, she probably has to draw against two. The All-Star teams were announced last evening, and the first team is dominated by three members of Team Canada. Terry Lake grabs the lead position out of Team Nova Scotia, Mayflower Club in Halifax. And the All-Stars were selected by shooting percentages, so those were the top shooting percentages for each position. Really working. Very familiar yeah. pattern. This is where they've had Trying the most to. success, Alberta, uh, going around to. this particular okay. corner. Back. Line's getting good. Yeah. Just want to hang on Deep. for a here. Deep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Good. Good, good, good. 14 7. Second team Sorry. is headed by Manitoba skip Chelsea Carey, who earlier today won a bronze medal with a win over Saskatchewan. Sherry Anderson, Sherry Singler from that team, as well as Morgan Court from Allison Flaxies, Ontario champions out of Listable, Ontario. Line's good. Down. This is also a familiar pattern. I actually thought this time Rachel might play the peel just because they've had so little success with Allison throwing in this spot. The peel makes so much sense, Linda, because then Team K or, uh, Alberta has to make a move on their shot rock. It's in the middle of their sheet. If they don't roll anywhere, there's a pretty simple double. This time she doesn't crash and spins to the back edge. So without last rock, Team Canada is sitting three. Fifteen-ish. Got the standing right up. Than yours or shall. Mine's okay. Close, yeah. Five. Twenty-two. Like yeah. good. Room. Yep. Room. Room. Finally. Room. Seven. Yep. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. Five only. Really sliding here. Seven. Stay close. You're gonna have to overbear me. Eight. Can you go? No. no. It's good there now. Yeah. 15. Yeah. Okay. It's a half second less than you. So just how good has uh, Team Canada been? Well, you just have to oh, this is a lot look less, Alex. at the okay. fact that Rachel Holman sets a record for her percentage. Emma Miskew at third. Allison Kraviasik. Yes! And then the team as a whole. Round Rob, 90%. All record-setting performances at this year's Scott. Out, I think. Well, it hit the rock, yeah. but it didn't roll far enough. Still a little problem for Allison as far as making those. You'll probably peels. just jam it, but that's okay for now. Control. That's okay for now, yeah. Grabbing the line here, they're going to be touch and go to save it. Dana Ferguson. This is what Federni and Courtney usually do. Okay. And they do well just to grab a corner. Okay, Fergie, tough one. Grab one back. Okay. Beat him around. Okay. Like that's awesome, but. If you miss it, they're just gonna freeze and yeah. come off of it. What? So what do you like? Well, we can slosh it in. Okay. Reading the scoreboard, you'd play some form off. of hit. Okay. Or like we can come around and we're lying too. It's just they're back. The Whatever you three. like. We can call it time if you want. Sure, time. We can come down here or what are the other yeah. Ones? I don't mind coming around. So that brings their it's a pretty big pocket Coach Earl Morse the to the ice. I don't know. I don't mind coming around. Yeah. You know nice. your weight. Well, you supporter, like it's, it's pretty close to being there. It's pretty good.
So I like the angle slash. Yeah. I know okay. that they're going to throw the freeze down to there, and then you whack that. If you don't make two per freezes, we hold them to two. Well, I think two's they're going to go two's the wings, right? Two's, two's a good number if, you slash, if we make the slash them right out of the end. Yeah. Well, we give there's them... still a pocket. That's the only thing, even if she makes it. But like... No, no, but I'm saying if you slash it, the most they're going to get is two, even if you don't make that. Like, if we come top eight, how do they get... Yeah, but but if you come top eight, if you if you can nail the weight, if you know the weight perfectly, then I think that's a good shot. I mean, even even the slash, like she freezes to the pocket. Okay. That's that's fine. Still uh, All right, sure. Not getting the right okay, yeah. the slash then. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Probably drag it out. Eh? Thanks, Earl. Rachel's worried about uh, a rock going into this position. It's hard for her to get it out. But the guard's also a problem because Team Alberta can go there. So Earl's saying, Spray run this one off. You don't need any guards with a three-point lead. If you could ever get that red one, you're in real good shape. Okay, you yes, they can freeze Make eventually. Sure we get but first. With you that, may be running to the pocket. It's not that bad. With that upweight ability of the uh, Holman team, uh, even that freeze on two rocks isn't dead safe. Yep, yep. Yeah. Have a miscue. And right in her way, Kirby really Asik, we go on the brush. Go this is all about line now. Slash it back. Go, 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 go. Uh, run it into her own at the That's back. Okay, yeah. Kill both those. Actually, that ended up no being pocket, brilliant, really, now. because now there's no pocket. Man, it's different Takes away some of the yeah. freeze so, possibilities. Yeah, and it's hard to get around this corner guard now. It's there, but it's, you can see Emma's yeah, rock rolls way, heads. way over to the edge. <laughs> And that little pocket's long gone. I, I really don't know how to throw anything on this ice anymore. Yeah, I'm a little concerned with Emma. Yeah. There was the comment right there. I was looking back at my notes about all the hits and the trouble she had with them. Somebody has to calm her down and just say that uh, just throw it the way you normally do. Something's going on and she's not getting the results. I really don't know how to throw anything on this ice. That was the comment from Emma Miskew. And you don't hear that. Yeah, line's getting really good. You know yeah, that go, go, go. Oh, go, that's, that's oh, huge go. comment for somebody of her caliber and her confidence. You definitely haven't heard it all week. They've been so good. Percentages plus minus every way you look at the way Emma has played. It's been brilliant. Okay. Okay, you got it, Em. How much? Kill? Yeah. Tight here, Marker really knows. tight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And they bang it right on the nose, so good brush. All right, Kirby Asik and Weagle. It's right now. Yeah, I don't have any confidence on this. <gasps> Pretty sure it's us. Okay. Probably have to hit that. Do you want to come around that yellow? It'll probably finish it off. This These are pretty around that yellow? close together. Yeah. Just like run the. T yeah. Yep. Okay. Just a couple feet more. Yeah. I appreciate the abilities of Team Canada. They keep uh, keep the two reds close together. They might not be two reds there very long. That's some room right Seven. now. Seven. Eight? We're okay, though. Well, then. I don't know. A lot of rotation. I think this one's going to be keener. No, we're okay. There we're good. Goes. Eight. Wait only. Just even. Back four. I think we're there. Okay. We're it's trying. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh I want to get shot. Nice shot. Good shot. Good job, Dana. Yeah, we're shot. What are you going to do? <sighs> you can like just throw this. It's just we don't want to. Yeah. <sighs> Is it the open one? Sure. Do you want to? Sir? Yeah. Roll in if we can a little bit. Hey. Taking safer the two. That uh, red one's. Okay, the third go. buried. 
Roll in a touch. Swingy spot. You tick the top when you give up uh, three. I don't know. That was just pretty good. You can hear the frustration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Emma not making those hits. A little exasperated, isn't she? Oh, the sigh from Rachel Holman. They're being challenged here tonight. Roll it out, huh? Okay, yep, yep. They haven't been yep. challenged much of the, during the week. Okay. Taken to the 10th end only twice during round robin. Taken to the 10th end in the 1 2 game by Manitoba, but Rachel Holman has yet to throw her final stone in any game this week. Well, I said of the mm -hmm. two teams, uh, Alberta has had to do those comebacks to recover from mistakes. Long. Rachel's Kay. team haven't really done that. They've played so that well. Mm -hmm. And suddenly you have Emma not throwing those hits very well. And yeah. the frustration is felt by all the players who don't know how to help her. You could play the freeze here. The odds of Rachel not I don't like playing the like jamming it out of there are pretty slim. But can't roll very far here. You can come with the out. Sweeting in her first. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. 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 A little bit more, Courtney yeah. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh -oh. Good. Thank Good. You. To sit the two. How flat is it? Is there a double there? Well, it's there, but do you take it on with it's a three point now? lead? What do you guys think? You see, three quarters? You've got like seven eighths of that back one, but I just want to look at it. It's up to you. Needs to hit a thick half. She can see more it's really than that. Really flat double, anyways, though. Okay. Can't give up three. No. I'm pretty like sure the, the front outside. end want to hit sure. the open this? one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like this? There's no need to play it, but Rachel Holman's such a great hitter. Let's get it. It's there. And nothing from Weagle or Kriviasa Glenda. You, you the decisions made. Yeah, you pick your spots, and they decided to let Rachel take like this, this one. Yeah. I don't mind hitting the open. No, she's Let's asking. Hit the open. Let's hit the open up. There you go. <laughs> so. You know, speak when you're spoken to, right? Yeah. Well, it's just that Rachel is playing very well, and they don't want to take her right. out of that place. Normal. Yeah, good it. for Rachel, off, though, off, to have off. second thoughts. Here, roll it all the way up. Okay. I thought it was brilliant, because the front end did not. They were getting ready to fall in front of it. Before, yes. <laughs> but but they didn't say anything. No, they did not. For the, for the same for reason you just said to keep yeah. Rachel's confidence up, and, I think and that's very Rachel can make that. We need to settle down. I'm like. <laughs> they have a wonderful one relationship, one. all four. As mentioned, Rachel, Emma, and Allison together for 12 years, dating back to their junior days, and then. Lisa Weagle, who's the oldest at the age of 28, has been with them for four years. That's good. All there. It's, not light. it's a little tighter than everything else. No. Okay. Really uh, no. Final stone looking for a couple now. here. It's hot. Okay. No. It's coming down. No, 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 no. no. Don't touch it. No. 14 3. Oh, no. You're okay. The brush goes up from Joanne Courtney. Two goes up on the board for Alberta. The championship trophy being brought into the Research Art Arena by Barbara St. Thomas, an RCMP constable from the Montreal detachment, and Dominic Ferron. He's out of the Quebec detachment. And to be awarded, of course, to the championship team, the winner of the Scotty 
the Tournament of Hearts Canadian Women's uh, Curling Championship. Yeah, they see at it. So Alberta gets the deuce in seven. They're down by one. Team Canada again will have the last rock playing the Yellow Stones here in eight. And that three. No. Canada no. opened within the second. Close. That's the difference. Back. This is a great choice. I mentioned that the two intern ticks were missed, and earlier there was an outturn made. Straight, so straight. I just think that spot's easier to read. It's a straighter the two sides, isn't it? Team Canada needed a good shot. If she sure could make did. one more, it'll take a lot of pressure off. It's that perfect weight, too. Exactly. Sometimes what calms the team down the most is just somebody getting in the hack and making a great shot like that. Starting them off, you say, I'm, I'm going to be first. Seven more great ones are all that we need. Hard finish, yeah, hard, hard, hard. Okay, well. So as well as the uh, trophy and Medals, Same the Scotties draw. winner yeah. will take home the prize money as well as an additional $10,000. That goes for the, the cresting that they'll wear at the Ford Women's Worlds. A spot in the Canada Cup, which will be Hello, played Blake. in Camrose, Blake. Alberta, yeah. and the Continental Blake. Cup, which will be played at Blake. Olympic yeah. Park yeah. in Calgary. Hard! 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 Hold the line! Go! Hard! 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 Hard. Go she drives on. the red onto the red to slow it down. <laughs> Okay, oh, just by. Oh, and then it'll just touch the uh, the bumper, so it has to come back. No, is there? Yeah. It's like four. Great try, all the same. Fifteen, I think. Here, I think so. Yeah. If your team thinks that's a great idea, go out and practice it before you decide it's a great idea because it, it's tough. It's a tough shot. But it's the best shot if you can make it. Oh, light. Line's good. Yeah, just for waiting right now. We'd like to go bed. Remember to going behind the guard. I guess if there's one thing about that guard that Team Canada can say is a positive, it's quite long. So you have to be dead behind it to be a good shot. There it goes. Yeah. Mine's really good. Over curl. Four five. Well, 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 well. well. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Nice, nice. Good one. And around they go with Dana Ferguson. Yeah, I've only got like an eighth. It's a high guard. Okay. Okay. Take it's fully across the line, though. Okay. A really high guard. You, take the you guard. want hack? I find yeah. these Rachel plays right. them really that's tight, fine. and that, that's yeah, so that's smart fine. because there's a pretty positive, good right? chance it's not going to be a miss wide, straight, which is a bad though. miss. enough to do the job which we admire so much you heard her say that uh, she could only see an eighth of it to hit and stay that's pretty impressive and that's what we saw from a lot of the teams that aren't in the playoffs they'd, they'd get that enemy rocket but they rolled the a shooter out of play Hello? now Val Sweeting has to play a defensive oh. call Weed's good. Oh, oh, oh. 
falling. Stay close. Whoa, no. What's the weight like? Forward. Get up. Sit. Sit. Wow. Great shot. Real good, Ali. Really good. Go for it. Here's Alberta with a buried stone. They yeah, make their next okay. shot, and now they're in trouble. Fell out. I like it. Two beauties I like from Allison. This. It's so high. But if you go top 12, it's... Whatever you like, Mel. And one of the keys we've already mentioned is the fact the guard is long. Allison got the rock out behind the guard. So okay. now Alberta's concerned about ignoring the rock on the side and burying in case the same thing happens. This has to be absolutely perfect. High in the house, right behind the guard for it to be effective. But how high? You want it to be shot stones, you want it just the top 12, you want to bite the eight. Yeah. Yeah. I guess first time around, Lindy might have to be top 12. Uh, it's so. too deep, it's just going to the guard so long. Really high for line. Whoa. Whoa, you're going to the other side. Okay. Yep, yep, yes, hard. 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 Whoa. 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 May just peek no. out the other side now. Yes, wow. Okay. And there it goes. The teams are fighting a little bit more curl today. You got it. Just talking. Okay. We can really yeah. hold it with sweeping. Okay, you got it. It's a little more than Allie. This is a good weight for Emma. She struggled the most with the big weight, the peel weight. Yep, yep. yep. Back line. Hard, guys, go! Here comes that guard. This guard! is going to be a really big hard! save for them. Oh, they got it by! Ho! Oh! Trebiasic, Weagle. That's a save for Emma Miscu. Yes, it is. A player that's struggling with the line on those hits. I think the weight was just right, but... Oh. They had to get that by, if nothing else, for her confidence. This would be absolutely okay. huge for Emma. This might run straight for a while, so just use your if you can. Ferguson no now. Tap. No, no tap. tap. No, no tap. tap. You're not even no. on yet. We're not in nose. Okay. We're not tapping. We're not tapping. Yep. 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 Hard. <laughs> nice. Right to the beat. Just top four. Did you? Of course you saw it. But it just remarkable. Really I was going to say, did you see that? Okay, of course we'll you did. <laughs> How far that curl? How much weight? I sleep in the audience. Yeah. So. <laughs> 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 That's a remarkable <laughs> curl. Yeah, no, you're right, Vic. And, and, and great judgment. They almost panicked. They almost said, it's heavy, it's wide, let's go in behind. And then the front end said, no, no, the speed wait. should be there. And it took the curl. Wait, 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 they wait, walked it right to the close. perfect spot. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yeah. Stay with oh. it. See? Yep. Oh, yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Oh, Hard. This one's jumped on them, too. Hard. Keep it high. Trying to keep the angle on the first two. And it'll get to the nose. Okay. Gets a little separation, punches the Canadian stone yeah, back to the button. Team Canada does have the last rock. They have the hammer here in eight. So that other draw is through about there. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I like that. You got it. Skip stones to come and they skip through. Who we want to look at? Well, Rachel has made some huge shots, and she's kept her team in this. But a big recovery one more time. Val Sweeting at the fifth end break, 65%, up to 75%. The trend continues. Alberta better in the second half. The player numbers are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Brilliant job of uh, shrinking the scoring area, if nothing else. That nice freeze. Uh, by Joanne, and then the, uh, this tap. If uh, Alberta can freeze on the corner, even a little light here, it creates a problem for uh, Rachel Holman. A little bit of room. Mine's really good. 
Emma's Ralph. last straw. Yeah, Sorry, that ambulance. did overcoat. Oh, <laughs> Paul Sweeney oh and God, her first. Oh and Courtney and Paderni are there. Oh and this is a carry now oh for them. And here comes oh Ferguson, oh all three of them now with a handle on it, trying to drag this down, get it by their own. And yeah, that will go. come up light. The little okay. rub and roll to sit. Sweep. 16. Top eight. Okay. Good sweep, girls. Is that uh, good enough for us good to spot. create some problems? Not oh, really. I think they can pick that up pretty easily. It only concerns me when Dana comes out. Those two can drag this stone. They don't need her. And I get a little worried that that third brush is actually in the way and nobody's watching line. Good scientific proof too from four feet away you're not doing a lot. <laughs> now do you pick that clean? We have this straw. She taps it, we pick it. So she's like picking it. You just pick it clean. Make her make a shot. Okay. I don't want you hit drawing it three if she no. makes a three you can not. Okay. okay. Couple options you could try to choke it off, but this this raise, this double raise is right. pretty makeable. So with the score the way it is, Rach is gonna try to run it right through here, hoping not to hit it really thick and take out her own. Yeah. Half rock should do it or less. Whoa. Rachel Holman. Some late licks now for the Isaac. Eagle. Very thin and across the top. Good. Good. Nice throw. So if we ever spill off anything, we're looking yeah. at a bunch. I like this. Because even if you tap the bitch, will probably just rip. If line's good, we can. Okay. Yeah, I like that. You got it. Exact same shot, two feet heavier. I would love to tap it and be uh, Let's lock it on. on the angle yeah. that you could steal a point, but it's dangerous. If you roll open, you give up a two, you're three behind with two ends to go. So you might be safer just to freeze one in there and hope Rachel can't draw for two. We call them. Tighter in line. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, says really Dana Ferguson. Okay. Tons of room, you guys. Got, oh, got to move big time. Okay, there it go. goes. Really got no, no. Waiting no. for Courtney Nine, and Paderni. No. No, no, if you're there. T line. No. no. We're all Get there. over. No, no. Curl uh -oh. up. No. Get over. Uh oh. Good try. And it'll rub and roll off. Fourteen five. Just really so many great shots. That's discouraging. Anything a little lighter just couldn't bounce off. We've all done it. The first one slowed down a bit, Four. maybe more than expected. So you add a little bit. As soon as you I add that it. two feet, uh, it's, it's now in a different feet. path. Yeah. Slides a little better. <clears throat> How much is your on reach? Let's okay. make it reach. Yeah. Straight through. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Quick here. Yep, yep, nice Four up. Had hot. Off, off, off. Final stone Four for the reigning please. Canadian champion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just clean it. Rachel we got Holman it. looking Turn to up. add a clean. couple more here in eight. Clean, yeah, yep, can't hurt it. You can't hurt it. <laughs> Team Canada will get two more. Prime Minister looking on here at the Maurice Richard. We won't talk with you again until the uh, Tim Hortons Briar. It's because of the Olympic break. Our first game from Kamloops, BC will be March the 1st, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time.
And the field is now set. All the uh, finals are in from around the country. So here is your Briar field. We'll start with Brad Gushu, who comes out of Newfoundland and Labrador. Eddie McKenzie wins PEI today. That's a fourth appearance for him as he wins back to back. Jamie Murphy comes out of Nova Scotia, winner over Mark Dacey. Jean Michel Menard is a former champion. Jeff Curry, former Canadian Junior Champion. Jeff Stoughton, Steve Leo. Kevin Cooey beats Kevin Martin. John Morris, who lost the Olympic Trials final to Brad Jacobs, will come out of BC. And Jamie Cooey comes out of the Northwest Territories, Utah. So that's your field for the Tim Hortons Briar in Kamloops beginning March the 1st. Oh, oh. a lot lighter. <laughs> Drag it, guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> Team Canada oh, picks oh, up two oh, and eight. Oh, they lead by three. And Alberta will have the last rock. They have the hammer here in nine playing the redstone. Yep, yep, yep. Get a little closer. Yep, yep, yep. Keep going, keep going. Bite the eight. Great sweeper. Team Canada's done a nice job scoring, especially Rachel making some big Ooh. shots, but their defense has been Similar off tonight. Weight, I think. Maybe. Yep. Alberta's made some good shots, so Alberta will try one more time to set up a deuce. Just a foot deep for foul there. The tolerance had to be short. Yeah, he, he wanted to be perfect, but uh, if she makes that in a good spot, there's a good chance he's only two down now. Mine's nice. Really good chance to get two here because Rachel one. doesn't okay. want to give up more than that. She'll end up peeling a guard. Now you're tied Definitely coming deep. home. Let it, let it work a little. Try to go okay. really deep. Or it's, no? It should Probably finish hard on this side. It might okay. come down. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. Wow. Perfect. Yeah. That would seem to me to be the better of the two guards. That one on the right-hand side, as we look at it, a little too wide. Yeah. It's very wide. There is room. You can get into the uh, far side of the 12-foot, but it's way over there. Okay. You can see a trend. These peels have not been automatic for the team tonight. Yep. That one never in doubt. And away it goes. Another one? No. Yep. yep. It's probably going to be here now. Yeah. Similar to Rochelle's. Yeah, okay. A little tighter pass. Have you cleaned the whole way? Yeah. Steady clean. Hard blind too. A lot of rotation, hey? Line's not bad. Yeah, you Line's know what? Good. We're okay. Easy. Oh. Good. Nice weight, Dana. Nice one. Three points that uh, Team Canada Linda got right out of the Three. gate while they Three. blanked the first, but they, so they got it in the second. Is that what? Alberta would look at this moment if it holds no, true, the no. score holds true. Is that what Alberta no, will no, look back okay. as well as the sure game was scan. really decided there? That's a huge shot, extra Sally. point. We've seen deuces in this game, and Alberta has had their share, but that um, extra point, that three, is yeah. big to start this yeah, game. Like this. Okay. This. If you roll it, it'll go. If you push it in, it'll go. What did I do to my rock over there? I'm just a little, a little funky. Eh? Which one? When I was hitting, trying to hit the ball. Yeah, you almost fell. Yeah. So, I just threw it away. Yeah, really, Alberta's been toe with uh, to uh, Team Canada. Right other than that, uh, okay. The Let's big three smart. under. Lots of room, you guys. Wait only. Let it work if you can, you guys. Take tight, Rochelle. Let it work. Using the corner. All right, Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yep, hard. 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 So run out of circles if they're not hard. careful. We're, we're not in. Oh, then we'll... And they are him. That's run out of ring, sorry. Yeah. What do you want to throw? Okay. Cam. Yeah. No. Clean. Clean. Yep. Yep. Hard. Clean. 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 You got it. Take it out. 
was a much better throw occasionally when Emma's been sliding out tonight on those up weights. Her trailing leg is actually swinging okay. around, which is very unusual for her. She's like very stable normally. I think so. That was a good throw. 16-5. Okay. And that too, they're, uh, they're starting to uh, bring their heart rate back down a bit. I think they're starting to get a little dicey. And, no, it's not heavy. Seven? It's not like tons. Seven? It's curling. Weight only though. Line's good. Got lots of room right now. I preferably love the teeter to leave room. Like so tough yep, you, you cannot be through. Hard finish. It's really coming down. Yep, hard. Hard. <laughs> yep. Hard. Hard. Oh. oh, you're going to run out of springs, yeah. That's really good sideways there. That's a great curling shot. It's like, it comes down hard. Like, I thought that was fun. Like yours? It's off 65 k Okay. You want to throw normal? Hard. They've used this corner guard over and over in this game, and this is why there is so oh, much curl on this side of the sheet. Rings, yeah. Yeah. Really go sideways there. Where do you want to come? Jabber. We could do the in here with Peel. Kay. Do you like it or no? Yep. Okay. He's Cam. straight. He got it in. Yes! Normal. Normal. Yeah. Hard! Boy. Yeah. Her hand wasn't even off the oh, handle. Previous again, we have pulled on, and that's the one they'll get. The guard, and yes, then their yes. shooter will roll over. Okay, it's good. Huh? Very close for uh, I think we're third. third shot. Ooh, that makes a difference, hey. Help me out here, Russ. What difference would that make so. if, in fact, Can't Alberta is the third yellow? shot? Well, um, for this particular shot, maybe not. Yeah. But they have to remove three yellow rocks here at some point Leaves to get that, that nose. to get that yeah. counter out there. So you either mm. do it by hitting or do Even it by if freezing. We're on the side, yeah. Do we hit and roll behind the yellow? I think we're third. Yes. Okay. Nice. It is close, though. Is it there? Yeah. I'm okay with there. Still leaves a double, though. Do we ever hit the middle one and just try to roll back? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I like that, Val. We might have a double here. Kay. Yeah, then we'll have something. Sure. Control. Lots of options here. You could bump that uh, left hand one back a foot or so and leave a bit of a pocket. We're going to roll behind Control. the yeah. left hand one, but it won't be much of a raise. It'll be a short I one. Affirm. Joanne Courtney. Yep, yep, hard, hard, yep, hard, 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 Now hard, looking hard for roll. that little bit of a roll in behind, and instead she'll just sit there, top four, <laughs> center line. That was a bit of center line. I'd rather go big. Okay, because if we're here, I'm going to have to use the bronze medalist. Yeah, really bronze medalist yeah, out of the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. Congratulations, nice. to Congratulations to Chelsea Carey and her nice team. <laughs> I don't think that's close. A winner earlier today over oh, Saskatchewan. Rough. So just roll over the side here. I think so. Okay. I think I if we can, if we can roll open, that's pretty good. Yeah. If you catch the other half side. and half is fine because yeah. then when she nuts it, I've got the double. Okay. I like coming this way because it's straighter. It's more consistent. How much? Control. Okay. Let's go, Rach. You're rolling. Yeah. Much like weight? either just. Three inches or big open okay. full eight. So that's where you need to roll to. Okay. Not half and half, that's brutal. Okay. Control. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Clean it. No, no, no. Clean. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Control. Roll, roll. No roll. Just roll an inch, a little more than that. They'll roll it right underneath. Yeah, a little too far, because uh, if Val can make this double and stick it, it's partly underneath cover. That's why they said a little bit or a lot, and it got halfway in between. A little less. Must 
be careful not to hit the back half of the rock that was just thrown. It'll redirect under their own red. Got to get enough of this top one to hit the second one solid. Okay, Skipper, what do you like? We got to make the double. Okay, you got this. Let's make it. Trailing by three. As we play here in the ninth. Val Sweeting. Dana Ferguson whoa. calling line. Whoa. Courtney Paderni backing whoa. off. Come on. Come on. Right. One and underneath. Oh. So close, Val. Little straighter spot and through through the break. You got a lot of break. Normally would come up a bit, but being left-handed, oh, it's, it's just throw. tough to get that finish on an out turn. Right. I thought you should get a little movement there. I thought we would too. I really liked how I threw that. Better? Yeah. Okay. You can roll under it. Either one. Just make it go. Up, away. wait. Yeah. That had to curl. Like, like. Oh. Up normal. And away it goes. Well, you could attempt the blank if you wanted to. Dangerous. Okay. Same, same as her draw to the pin. <laughs> I'm just I'm yelling. Try to get three reason. coming home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as Val's team plays more on this type of ice, you realize it gets a little bit straighter as the game goes along. Just didn't come up as much as she thought. She was happy the way she threw it. eye on this hog line in if it starts to curl towards the four foot strip it could be a foot or so slower. What's that? The right side of the sheet from our angle there. Yeah. We're really enjoy these. Yeah. Are you seeing the same thing? Mm-hmm. Line's good. It's close on its own. It's impressive with that young team. They're always into it, aren't they? Close. They finish their job this end, but they're still thinking. Line's really good. Drawing against a couple. Needs some blue, needs some four foot. 14-8. Okay, wait should be nice then. Good. Okay. For the single, Team Canada trying to defend, have the lead, and we'll have the last rock coming home. It's now time for today's secret word. The secret word is championship. Go to finalend.ca and enter this word for your chance to win. Rachel Holman. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get it by. Angle it back. Catch it and spill it. And there you go. And run it back. And oh, she'll pop a low. Goodness. Could not draw that up any better than. Maybe he has to play the little bounce. Nope, it'll get by. Right to the no. And so, Rachel Holman looking to join a very distinguished list of skips and teams that have won back-to-back. -back. When you go back to Vera Pezzer, this is the Canadian Women's Championship, of course, and then doing it from Saskatchewan for those three years. And then Jennifer Jones, the last, winning first as Manitoba, and then consecutive years as Team Canada. Ah, uh, yes. A Weagle tick. Lisa Weagle does it again. As here in the 10th, up by two, Team Canada leads it, and they will have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. Here, Brim. Just above. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll just put it in a different spot. Nice shot. The red one could be in, which could make it a little uh, trickier. Good sweep, guys. Is it in? I'm sorry? Is that one in? Yeah. I think we still take yeah. it away. Is that it, Val? You could hit it. <laughs> Do you like the tick or no? Yeah, I like the hit. Okay. 
hit makes you the most sense. Out. I don't think we need to roll in. If you play the okay. tech, you could guard that. If you roll in, it's going to aim for contact. Quite a bit different when you're up two, isn't it? How much? Mm -hmm. There was just a single Whatever point difference. You really hey. start fretting about straight. the way the house sets up. A little breathing room for Team Canada. Put a nose and kind of sit for a guard. Yeah. So that's better. Good. Thanks. Yeah, even like three, four. I like the out turn. Yeah. Just a three. Still looking for a guard. Very familiar looking position for the guard that's on the ice. It was there earlier when it was trying to play come arounds for Alberta. They were all over curling. It's just so long. So they're trying to make a better one by drawing around the one that's Three. Okay. Lots of room. Yes. Lots of room. Mine's good. Yes. Four. Okay, well, lots of room, you guys. Dana Ferguson. It's going to curl more if it's three. Line's the way the game's three. gone, good. Linda, it's interesting to my good. mind that Team Canada gets off to the terrific ooh, start ooh, and ooh, really ooh. takes advantage of, I think, a, it's a, a safety Beauty. start by Alberta. 16 five. But those middle... Few ends. Five, six, seven. Just we started to see yeah. some mistakes, maybe a little weakness from Team Canada. What's impressed me is how Team Canada has regrouped and now look, to my mind, as strong as they did when the game started. And that was one of the things that Earl Morris, the coach, said that they specifically wanted to work on better themselves from a year ago. Right. Alberta has been so good at that comeback, at settling down after mistakes, and Team Canada just hasn't faced that this week. It's They've been here. so good. And I really think in eight, Lisa Weagle makes the first tick. Suddenly, everything seemed better for Team Canada, and they ended up scoring that end, which was huge. Mine's good. <laughs> yeah. I think we're over. Hard. hard. Get it over. Really hard. Hard. Get hard, it over, you guys. <laughs> you Come on. It. Hard. Is it over? Come on. Get yeah, it over. You got it. Go, go, go. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Go, go, go. This is one big drag. Oh, ladies. Good sweet. That's okay, buddy. It's that time of the game. Chelsea Carey came up late in that similar spot. You have to be so careful. Just a normal spot in the ice. Yeah. Doesn't do anything. Just let it go yeah. hitting a piece. Yeah. I should have realized how much tighter the broom was. Team Canada looking for a back-to-back -back championship. They lead by two. What's your game story? Well, that first three, you mentioned it, Vic. That was a great start for Team Canada when Alberta was making some mistakes and it was a draw for three. But it was in the eighth. The tick was made. Things were a little bit better. And Alberta misses their last, leaving the hit for two. A big turnaround in that end. And Rachel Holman has made the big shots for Team Canada. The game story is brought to you by Travelers. It's better okay. under the umbrella. That's okay. Oops. Just one and a half. That's oh my hell. In place, good. <laughs> nice shot. Oh my goodness. There's just a major. Yeah. <laughs> he got it, Em. It's a good plan. So quite often you see the other team notice something on the ice and uh, nothing is done by the opposition to check it out. So good for Rachel. Take your time. Make sure everything's ready for this throw. She also did peek as she turned around at the stone. It's just outside the rings in front of the tee line. Possible jam and maybe bouncing this stone back. That's just scaring me. Yeah. That was great. Yeah. 
It might have scared, scared Rachel a little bit because it was up weight and a little bit full, maybe. But those are way better throws. Suddenly Emma has it back. I don't know what happened. She really was shaky for those few ends. And she was pointing them in just a bit, and there's a little more curl today, and she kept missing on the low side. Much better throw there, as you say. Mine's a little bit tight, guys. Oh, close. Yep, yep. Weight's good. Air five. Yep. Line only. Yep. Tapping. Hard line. Hard line. Yep. Good sweep. Okay. 14-7. Good. Do you like this way? Sure. Okay. Let's go on. There's quite a few feet between them. Anything high. Emma missed you. Clean. Just clean. There's a young lady who's uh, gathered herself up. Linda struggling a little through the mid. Couple of ends with some delivery issues and seems to be throwing them confidently now. You know, I like what the team did too. I said sometimes you don't know what to do with them, but you heard Rachel every time Emma made a good line call, she gave her credit. Mm -hmm. And that little confidence on other things that you do sometimes goes back to the way you throw the stone. That was probably just a normal. I tried not to overthrow it. Oh, really? Well, I think your adrenaline helped you because I think that was peeling right here. Somehow, the Alberta and really good, you Val Sweeting have to make them count now. Yep. Oh, Need some mistakes from the reigning Canadian champions. I lied. Shoot. Sorry. Sorry, that looked late. Yeah, curl up. Okay, I'll shot Val. A little spooled again. It's coming off away from that slide path, which is slower. It's curling into the good stuff. We just overcooked it a little bit. And listen to the crowd. Here at the Maurice Richard Arena, as they acknowledge this Canadian Championship team. Her dad watching. How much? Enough. An opportunity here to end okay. it. And if she does, she'll go through the entire event having not thrown her last stone. Rachel Holman and the team from the Ottawa Curling Club. They were champions a year ago. They're champions again. Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Scotty's The Perfect Touch. The 2014 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for over 20 years. By M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. 
and by Tim Hortons, always fresh, always great tasting coffee. Rachel Holman celebrates a second straight Canadian Women's Curling Championship. That says, that's my little girl. Rachel Holman's with Ryan. Rachel, congratulations. You were great in Kingston. Perfect this time around. Is this one any sweeter? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, being repeat champions is unbelievable. I'm so proud of my team. It's an unbelievable feeling. What does Earl mean to you on this incredible run? He's unbelievable. He's there for us whenever we need him. He says the right things. He encourages us. He, he's, he's always there for us. It's, uh, we're so lucky to have him on our team. Worlds in Canada now, in New yeah. Brunswick. You guys have some unfinished business. Yes, definitely. Um, we're going for gold this time. That's it. Thanks for your time and best of luck. Thank you so much. Yeah, celebrates now with Earl Morris. And of course, a year ago, the Women's Worlds were in Riga, Latvia. This year, the Ford Women's Worlds will be in St. John, New Brunswick, beginning March the 15th. now for a second straight year they are the Scottish champions <laughs> coach Earl Morris fifth player Stephanie LeDrew Lisa Weagle Allison Kroviasen Emma Miskew and Skip Rachel Holman Being congratulated by Team Manitoba and the Fort Rouge Curling Club in Winnipeg. Chelsea Carey's team winning a bronze medal earlier today with a win over Saskatchewan. Hugh Avery, president du comité ACC, présentera les médailles de bronze. To Team Manitoba. The bronze medals to be Starting presented to coach, Team Manitoba. They had a good run, Linda. They finished uh, second in the standings. They went uh, through nine and two, now, then lost that one-two page playoff. Where did it sort of come apart for them, do you think? Well, there was just an end here or there. I thought it was a very solid performance. Extremely impressed with Chelsea Carey's draw weight. We always knew they could hit, but they put the draws in the right spot as well. It was a terrific bounce back for Chelsea Carey after going four and three at the Olympic trials in Winnipeg and then coming through the Manitoba playdowns to claim her first Manitoba championship. To Team Alberta! Smiley, the coach, back after Kelly missing a day of flu, and then Rene Sonnenberg. We're going to see more of this team, I think, for sure. Uh, Russ, when you talk about these front two and Rochelle Paderni and Joey Courtney and the way they can rush, my goodness. That's the future for Alberta, for sure. This, uh, this team was so solid all week. That big three was the difference in this game. They were toe-to-toe -to -toe after that. And 26-year-old Val Sweeting.
Monsieur Mario Gosselin, le PDG des produits Cougar Limité, présentera les trophées individuels et les bagues. Et puis Hugh Avery présentera les médailles d'or du tournoi des cœurs Scotties. To Team Canada! His, uh, his son John has won British Columbia and will be at the Tim Hortons Briar. Thank you. John just won out know, of the third province. The only, the only other person did that was his dad. You saw Lynn Perviasic watch her sister, now Allison, win a second straight Canadian championship. Boy, this team is just so good, Linda. Just so good. I'm sure all the other countries that are sending representatives to the World Championships in New Brunswick are shuddering a little when they look at the stats and the results of this event. They were so dominant. It's so much more shiny than mine. Mine's uh, seen. So, <laughs> Mr. Goswell, the note from the Scotty's Chernobyl Hearts Trophy to our 2014 champions. Here they are, Canada. Your Canadian women's curling champions for a second straight year. Rachel Holman, Emma Miskew, Alison Kroviasek, Lisa Eagle, Stephanie LaDrew, and coach Earl Morris. This year, the Maurice Richard Arena played host to the Scotties Tournament of Hearts as the best women curlers in our country took to the ice all in search of the top prize. Kessa Van Osh and her team from BC showed that they belonged, finishing their rookie debut with a six and five record. Team New Brunswick were oh so close again to the playoffs. They were the top team from Atlantic Canada. Stephanie Lawton made her third trip to the playoffs as Team Saskatchewan finished in fourth place. Chelsea Carey found a spot on the podium in her very first appearance, Manitoba, the bronze medalists. And the youngest team in Scotty's history showed us what team spirit is all about. Team Yukon won just two games, but they never stopped smiling. In the end, it was two teams that have changed the women's game, and they met for the title. This year's entry from Alberta have taken the art of sweeping to a whole new level, but we learned that they're much more than that. Val Sweeting was a pretty cool customer on the Scotty's ice, and we'll be seeing her for years to come, you can be sure. However, in the end, like everyone else, they just could not stop Team Canada. Rachel Holman's team from Ottawa, simply unbeatable, winning all 13 games and playing at a level the Scotties had never seen before. Next month, they'll move on to the World Championship, and you really do have to like their chances there. For now, though, the eyes of the curling world will turn to Sochi, and our country's medal hopes are in good hands there, too. Jennifer Jones, Brad Jacobs, and their respective teams will proudly wear that maple leaf, and we wish them all the very best of luck. And we will be watching with Canadian pride. So this ends our visit here to Montreal. We want to thank the vice chairs, Kevin Aldean, Catherine Hughes, Francine Poisson, and all the volunteers for making us feel so welcome. Till we talk with you again, you know, we have to have the Olympic break, and then we'll talk with you at the Tim Hortons Briar and Kamloops, Kamloops, BC, March 1st. Our first show is 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, the Tim Hortons Briar. I want to say a special thanks to all the women and men of our crew for a terrific week and all their hard work. And now on behalf of our entire crew, we thank you for joining us. Congratulations to Team Canada for defending their title. And until we talk with you again from Kamloops, thank you for joining us here on Canada's sports leader, TSN. <laughs>